so let's go to the gold saucer. Can you use blitz in this game? Uh, no, I don't believe there's a blitz in this game. Three more to go, Jeff. Three more to go for the Bills. A lot of cool stuff about Barrett that we learned and the sad part of his backstory. And, uh, he got punched in the face as soon as he walked into his hometown, so that's kind of sad. We're going to take this, uh, sky, I don't know what these are called, sky bus, I don't know what you would call that, up to the gold saucer. And an, another song that we'll repeat over and over. Sky Tram, thank you. And we will be getting our seventh party member up here. We added Yuffie yesterday, if anybody missed it. I'm really looking forward to this in Rebirth. They showed some screenshots and uh, a couple video scenes from the Gold Saucer in Rebirth, and it looks amazing. But we're going to have to buy a pass, so I'm going to need at least 3,000 gil, and that's one thing. We're good. Okay, I forgot to check before we got here. Welcome to the Gold Saucer. Are you t together? A single pass is 3,000 gil, or you can purchase a lifetime pass for 30,000. So the lifetime pass would be nice, but uh, we can't afford it right now, but we need to go inside, so we're going to just pay for the single pass. So if you leave Gold Saucer, your tickets become invalid. Here at the Gold Saucer, there are many places where you must pay with GP. Just think of GP as money that you can use only at the Gold Saucer. GP can only be redeemed at the games in the Wonder Square and at the Chocobo races. Your GP limit is 10,000. Yeah, we won't get that high. So please be careful. Please enjoy yourselves. All right, let's go inside. So there's all this the gold saucer, this theme park, amusement park, is all in uh, separated into different squares. I did uh, I did beat Pokemon um, Arceus and a 100% of the uh, Pokédex on that. So I was proud of myself. Wow, let's have fun. I know this isn't the right time to do this. Hey, Barrett, cheer up. I ain't in a cheery mood, so just leave me alone. So he just relived his painful memories of how he believes it's his fault that his shinner burned down his town and killed his wife. I mean, there's a lot of dark stuff in this game. Thank you, Clive. Let's go. Whisper, whisper. Wasn't that a little harsh, Aerith? Whisper, whisper. Just act normal when this happens. Whisper. You think so? Of course. We're going to go play. <laughs> so play. Mess around all you want. Don't forget we're after Sephiroth. Poor Barrett. I think he's mad. He'll be fine. He seems to be doing a little better now. Alright, so the different squares. The ghost square is like... Um, it's got a hotel there, so it's like where you can uh, rest. The battle square is uh, to, to do some battling for points. The wonder square, I think that's where the games are. Let's go to the... Actually, if we go to the wonder, wonder square, we'll activate what we're here to do. So let's... Event square, there'll be a play we'll go to later there. The speed square is like a roller coaster game. Round square is where you go, um, we'll go on a date with one of our party members later, the second time we come here. 
Um, we're gonna go to the ghost square, though. Oh, okay. That's not gonna let me. Oh, okay. She's gonna come. Because there's a Turtle Paradise poster in here, and if you guys have been watching the, um, streams, there's a mini, or if, even if you haven't, there's a, uh, side quest to find all the Turtles Paradise posters, and there's one in here. So this is a cool hotel in, inside of a, like, theme park. Welcome. Thank you for coming to the Ghost Hotel. Blah. For reservations, please step up to the counter. Blah. Well, we're not going to stay. We're just going to come over here. Turtles Paradise number three. Forget the bad times with a nice drink. Only thing missing in the gold saucer is a pub with good drinks and a great atmosphere. Stop in the Turtles Paradise. I like how whatever counter you go to, the same person shows up. Like if I go in here... Oh, it's a different, okay. But they drop down. Mr. Hangman. What do they got? Anything? Nothing I need. Okay. So this is the ghost hotel. We can stay here if we want to re uh, recharge, refill our health. Watch the chairs. Ghosts pop in and out. Alright, let's check out the uh, battle square. Sorry, we're current. Okay, so we must have to go trigger the event in the Wonder Square. So let's go do that. It's a good jam right here. Do 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 do. Hey you, what are you looking so down for? If you have not played this game, the cat, the little tiny cat on top, is what's talking to us. It's riding. Um, this large fat moogle toy thing which isn't uh, isn't alive but um, the cat is talking to us what's up Tia oh, but don't hold it against me if it doesn't come true oh so sorry I'm a fortune telling machine the names Kate Sith Were you leaving all the default names do 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 boom 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 you can only read the future. He's uh, he's something else, <laughs> Kate said. You kidding? I can find missing things, missing people, anything. Then can you tell me where a man named Sephiroth is? Sephiroth, right? Okay, here goes. A little enthusiastic there. Ordinary luck. It will be an active fortune. Given to the goodwill of others and something big will happen after summer. Wait, hold on. Uh, let me try again. <laughs> be careful of forgetfulness. Your lucky color is blue? Forget it. Wait, wait, give me another chance. Wait, let me try it again. Oh, he's going faster this time. What the... What does it say? What you pursue will be yours, but you will lose something dear. I don't know if it's good or bad. This is the first time I've ever gotten something like this. Then shall we? Excuse me? Being a fortune teller, this is going to bug me. If I don't see how it turns out, I'm never going to be able to relax. So I'm going with you. Yeah, it's a good tune. Kate says theme. Is it alright, Cloud? I'm coming with you no matter what you say. Explain that, Clive. What's the uh, Illuminati deal with the devil stuff? All right, so let's see what um, what we're equipped with here on Kate Sith. So he's got really good armor, and um, let's give him uh, a star pendant for now. Does he have any materia? He comes. Okay, so that this is what I was looking for yesterday. I for I, I didn't know that this is exactly where you got it. So 
when I was trying to get that enemy skill that you have to manipulate. I did not have the manipulate materia. We now have it. Oh, got it, Clive. I didn't know that was an Illuminati thing. Now we're gonna have to have like some conspiracies with this game. What's up, Dark Side? All right, I'll show you guys the uh, the game, the arcade here. Definite foreshadowing. So some of these games are closed. Play play some basketball. That went in even though it didn't look it, like it. Oh, missed that one. Yes. Because you have to manipulate for White Wind also. I know for Big Guard we figured that out, but I couldn't remember for White Wind. Big Guard's also over um, by Costa del Sol, so I can just hit that on the on the way. So we can do the G-Bike game, which is the same mini game we did when we left Midgar. It's just, it's like the same thing. You're riding on the streets um, and, and hitting people with the sword. Now, this game, I'm going to show you guys this game. The goal of this game, when it becomes clear, is uh, kind of weird. This is a game in a kid's arcade. How did you remember the Zemzelet name? I remember what they look like. Like they're, they're green with the big wings. This is Mog's house. It's story time, guys. Ready? Do you like it, Dark Side? This is Mog's house. It's in Mog Forest on Mount Mog. The beginning of another day in the life of a Mog. This year, Mog is Pippa Papupu. Pippa. Pippa Papupu. Po Pippa Papupo. He's Pippa Papupo years old. That's 28 in human years. He's at that age where he should be looking for a mate. Hmm? But before Mog can become an adult, he first needs to learn how to fly. Even though Mog trains hard every day, he still can't seem to get off the ground. So I guess no uh, female. Moogle will um, mate with him until he can fly. Looks like he's still got a long way to go. Here's where you come in. Help Mog learn how to fly by pressing A and feeding him his favorite Koopo nut. But don't overfeed him. He won't be able to fly if he's too fat. Y you gotta listen for a cue. He does something different when, you when he's done eating and, and you don't want to overfeed him. Yeah, that's true to you. So that's like he's still he's still hungry. We'll give him another one. Still hungry. That's what they're saying, Clive. Okay, he's good. That That's the signal. So now we just kind of like wait for it to be done. Oh, it seems like Mog's decided to take another shot at it. Because somehow eating nuts makes you fly. And we get the cheery flying music that we'll hear a lot later in the game. He did it! He's flying! Now he's finally become a full-fledged Mog. Time for Mog to go to sleep. Takes a bow. Tired but relaxed, our little Mog turns out the lights early and goes to bed. Good night and sweet dreams. Uh-oh. What do we got here? Oh, what's this? Here comes a female Mog. She must be thinking, I heard there's a male Mog around here that knows how to fly. Yes. 
got Yuffie yesterday in the quickest ever encounter of her. I got her in like five five battles. I never I've never got her that fast before. I figured I was gonna have to grind for a long time. It seems like he likes her. I like this. He opens the door. Yep, I like her. Well, I think we gotta he's he's gotta practice some more flying. Because now he's gotta do it again in front of her. So we gotta keep that weight there. Now, will Mog be able to fly gracefully in front of her? Help him out with a few Koopo nuts. This is, a, this is an interesting mating ritual. Here, watch me stuff my face. I guess it's like going out to dinner, right? And then instead of the movie, I'll entertain you by flying? Alright, he's good. Don't hit A anymore. Oh, it seems like Mogs decide to take another shot at it. He's flying! Mog was able to do it, and the female's going crazy. It's like, check me out, lady. Seen anyone else fly like that? She must have fallen for his graceful flying form. Sometime later. Looks like things are going well with his new Mog friend. Time for a quiet date in the forest. Her name is Mag. She's a good-natured Mog. Best of luck to the both of you, Mog and Mag. May you have lots and lots of healthy Mogs. There's the babies. So the goal of this game is to get Mog laid. <laughs> What's up, Jack? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mog and Mag sitting in a tree. The end. Uh, no worries there, I guess. Finn. Sorry, Finn. Not the end. Yeah, so that was the game. Then you talk to this guy who, who couldn't do it, so he watched you beat the game. Hmm, I'm impressed. Thanks for the show. Here, take this. We get 30 GP. Which, like, they're kind of like tickets at the arcade that you can buy stuff with. Um, there's also this game. No, I didn't want to talk. Will you turn? 3D Battler. It's kind of like a rock, paper, scissors thing, I think. Like, um, robot sock em or whatever. Get, get the coffee. I don't have ten yet. There we go. Now look at this guy. That's right, I guess you have to keep going until you lose. It's just a guessing game, high, medium, low, and depending on what they, the other person hits is whether you connect or not. It's like rock, paper, scissors. Uh-oh, he's getting ahead of me. I won, though.
I haven't seen that show in a long time. I think we're gonna lose this one. Wonder if it reads inputs. Wonder if it cheats. Like a lot of arcade fighters. And we're down. Alright, that's enough of that. 3 GP. So yeah, there's a submarine game that will be unlocked later. Um, the bike game, like I said, it's the same thing we did when we escaped Midgar. So let's let's see what the prizes could have been. So the gold ticket, I think, is the um, the thirty thousand one, and then I forget what this is at this point in the game. So we we're not gonna really get anything. I don't know if we lose these when we leave. I'm not sure. We may lose them when we leave, but that's all right. We're not gonna we're not gonna grind it. Probably not. I haven't seen that much of it. All right. So this is the battle square. Something happened. dead what so this is story progression wait cloud all right all the uh, troops are dead did Sephiroth do this No, it's not him. They're all shot. Sephiroth would never use a gun. Ugh, ugh. Hey, what happened? What's up, Otto? Good tune. Uh, a man with a gun on his arm. Well, we know one of those. She talking Barrett came in here and killed all these people? That would be completely out of character. For Barrett, but who the hell else has a gun on his arm? Or would he? Yeah, would he use a gun? Hmm. A gun on his arm. Hold it right there and stay quiet. A lot, a lot of men in this game just like to walk around in speedos. So this is Dio. He is the uh, owner. Is it the owner or the guy in charge of the gold saucer? I think he's the owner. Did you guys do this? No, it wasn't us. Hurry and run. It's going to get ugly. And Kate Sith bounces out. Stop them. That's as far as you go. Yeah, I wonder if that that's where he got his name from. Cloud. Oh, awesome. Yeah, we'll we'll escape this. One more to go. <laughs> yes. Hey, pay attention. I don't need to hear it. Pay for your crime below. So they just decided, uh, we're guilty. We murdered all these people. Do it! Yes. Do it. Cloud, you alright? Where are we? A desert prison. Coral prison. So we just got tossed into a prison in the middle of a desert for a crime we did not commit. No trial, no nothing. A desert prison? Yep. A natural prison in the middle of the desert, surrounded entirely by quicksand. I heard that once you get in, you never get out. But there was one special exception. Barrett! So Barrett's already here. In prison. Barrett? 
Did you? So remember, a guy with a gun arm murdered all these people. Stay back. This is something I got to deal with. Just leave me alone. That's one of your friends. He sure looks dangerous. Barrett. All right. So if you remember from the flashback, th this kind of looks familiar. This is actually the town of Coral, Barrett's hometown that Shinra burned down. They've turned it into a prison. you buddy ha 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 what are you laughing at oh god there's a lot of thieves here that steal your shit in battles and you can't get them back these enemies are weird two-faced <laughs> he just Kate Sith just runs up and slugs him Holy shit, 478? I can? Who has it? Is it on the way to dine? I know, I remember there was an enemy skill up there. I gotta make sure somebody's wearing it. Because they changed my party. Alright, so Aerith. Okay, Tifa's... Uh, Cloud's got it. Okay, so let's move Aerith's stuff to Kate Sith for now. Alright, so what's going on in this prison? We are going to save... I want to. I can't PHS, so you're you're forced to use Tifa and Kate Sith right now. Do I have? Yeah. Okay. Why is this guy following me, dude? Get off! Get off of me! Holy shit! I've never noticed that guy freaking sticks right on your ass before. All right, we got to get rid of these thieves. They can steal your good stuff, and if they run, you lose it. See, he's mugging me right now. Oh, he stole my little mini soldier. Come on, die. He's gonna run. I'm gonna lose it. Jesus, they got a lot of HP. He's peacing out. So I lost that. So I'm glad it wasn't anything worth anything. Why are these guys got so much HP? And he stole my 340 gil. I'm not going to get that back. I got to remember to use that on them. I hate this part because of these little bastards stealing everything. So this was the house where we saw they had the conversation where, where Barrett was talking, trying to talk Dine into switching from coal, coal energy in the town to Mako. Didn't I tell you not to come here? Just hold on for a second. We just want to talk. You'll understand if you just hear us out. It doesn't uh, doesn't agree. Oh, there's somebody evil behind the couch. Didn't want to get none of didn't want none of you to get involved. Hey, that's Cloud's line. It's too dangerous. I can't let you get involved. Blah blah blah. Yeah, we've already we're already involved in this. We saw you and hurried here. Barrett, just tell us what's going on. You guys I heard that the murders at the battle arena were done by a man with a gun arm. Was that you? There's another. Another man that got a gun grafted into one of his arms. It was four years ago. 
Here's more of Barrett's story. I remember I was on my way, way home from visiting a Mako reactor being built. Barrett, Dine, come quick. The village is being attacked. It's Shinra soldiers. What? Let's jump down instead of taking the stairs. So that's his town. That's where we are right now. That's now the prison. They turned it into a prison after Shinra burned it down. What the hell happened? It's a lot of dark shit in this in this story. Hey Barrett, it's not over yet. Everyone's waiting. Let's go back to the village. Barrett, dine, protect the village. Jesus. Just murdered that old man for no reason. And Barrett yelled, Old man! Like, is that his name, old man? And Barrett is, man, he's good at dodging these bullets. Come on, Barrett, we gotta hurry. Yeah, they're purposely making him dance, or they're terrible shots. Barrett, you stay here. Oh, uh, here's Scarlet from Shinra. Kya ha ha! You can shoot all day and never hit them with aim like that. Shut up. Kya ha ha! Stop playing around. So you notice how Heidegger always says kya ha ha, and she always says kya ha ha. Pun intended on the hang around. Stop playing around and cover me. Watch out. Dine, hang on. This is this is uh, brutal coming up here. It's like Scarlet's shooting. Listen to me, you're coming back to the village here. Yeah, I ain't letting go. You're coming back. Everybody, everyone's waiting for you. Eleanor and Marlene. See, this is interesting. Marlene, that's Barrett's daughter's name. Four-year-old girl that was uh, running the bar. That's Barrett's daughter. So he's telling Dine that Eleanor and Marlene, they're all waiting on us. Was she fake shooting? She didn't even have a gun. So they, they, Barrett's arm just got shot off. I think both their arms just got shot off. From then on, I couldn't use my right arm no more. I was depressed for a while, but then I threw away my artificial arm and got this gun grafted in. Got a new right arm to get revenge on the Shinra who took everything away. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Obviously, Cloud, this would be the first time he's hearing it, and Red and Aerith. But, like, I don't know if Tifa knew this story or not. I can't remember if they make it uh, known or not. Back then, I heard the doc say there was another man who got the same operation as me, but his was the left arm. But Dine's injury was the same as yours, right? Yeah, that's right. He was deceived by Shinra, too. He'll probably join us to fight against Shinra. Wouldn't bet on it. I gotta apologize to Dine before I can rest in peace. And that's why I gotta go alone. Do whatever you want. Is that what you want to hear? Well, I can't let you do it. We need your help to save the planet. Barrett, this isn't the end. Weren't you going to save the planet? Shit, Tifa, you ought to know by now. That's alright. I'm not so different from you. That's easier to understand. It's you, Barrett. So there it is, Barrett. So I guess it'll be Barrett, me, and... So he wants to go apologize to Dine. So we're forced to take Barrett into the party. And let's take... Let's take Red, because we haven't really battled with Red yet. Let's get him some time in the party. So we got to switch up the materia again. So we'll get what was on Kate Sith to Red. But we can only do two, so we'll leave Sense.
and then Tifus can go to Barret. She can keep the long range because he doesn't he doesn't need it. I gotta give him his new gun. Oh, we'll get another we'll get another um, double double AP. That's good. All right. Um, I think we're good there. But now we can. There's one more. One more materia that I didn't take off because he didn't have enough room, but now he does. What am I doing? Who did I switch with Kate Sith? Even though we don't really don't really use that. All right. Um, not yet. And we have to talk to this guy in here, I think. You knew then go and pay your respects to Mr. Coates. This guy is fancy dressed right here. Mr. Coates. Never seen your face around here before. Going up? Yeah, up. Yeah, let us out of this prison. You don't seem to understand how things work down here. So, Eve, now we gotta play Final Fantasy IX and see the similarities that uh, Tia's talking about with Dragon Ball. Welcome back, Jack. Welcome back, Jack. This is the Gold Saucer's garbage dump. And that makes... All of you scrubs. The only way to get back up there is to win the chocobo race. But it's not as easy as you rookies think. Isn't that, isn't that funny? To get out of prison that we're going to spend life in. Well, if we win a race, we can get out. Of course, if you got the boss's permission, it would be a different story. But you'll never get that. Ha 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 ha. So, we can't get in this chocobo race until we got the boss's position, whoever that is. I've always wondered why Shinra is one word, and we'll see this on a on a rocket ship later on. Sometimes it's spelled as two words hyphenated. I was always confused about that, like Shin hyphen Ra, but it's one word. Very confusing how, how it's different ways. Day four, Jack, on the road to rebirth. I can't remember if there's anything in that house down there. All right, we gotta get these thieves out of here. Um, fire, all, bolt, all. God, these guys got so much HP. Did he steal something? I dropped. Okay, we need to get that back. Holy shit, he just stole a weapon for Vincent, who we don't even have yet. We got it back, thank God. Man, they steal some they steal some uh, important stuff. Alright, so we got back the eye drop. I like Red's uh, rolling spin attack. just wanted to see what was in this house. It was probably nothing. That was a bar? A rookie? Then you gotta buy something. Yep, that's the rule here. I think it's just like supplies, yeah. And I don't think there's anything else here. I don't even know if I can talk to this other person. I don't think I can. I don't think they get close enough to the counter. Oops. Holy crap, Tia. That's a lot to read. Who had fancy footwork? Why Why does my memory suck? Like, I don't know. I can't remember what just happened to, uh, kn to know what you're talking about. I hate that about my brain. 
Alright, good. No thieves. We can relax. Do these these guys don't have any um Damn. Any um I don't know if I gotta kill I'm saving this. I'm saving the limit. Cause I'm gonna have to do a solo boss fight with Barrett coming up. Oh shit, I just hit myself. What an idiot. Did you see that? Well, I do want to play eight also. Uh, these are two, they're called two faced. So this is just, they got one head on each side, they just spin around like a bunch of morons. I don't know. I wonder if that hyphenated thing is just another thing like the graffiti that didn't make sense. What are you just about? Eight? I want to play eight. Alright, so we gotta go find the boss, and Barrett wants to apologize to Dine. Can I leave yet, or do I gotta... How do I... Why can't I get out? What do I gotta do to get that gate open? God dang it. Well, they just cured me. Thank you, enemy. And he's gonna self-destruct and make up for that. What's he stealing? I don't think I need that weapon, but we got it back. These guys are nuts, man. How do I get out of here? Tell you one thing, rookie. The desert is extremely dangerous. It'll welcome you in, but when you try to leave, it will swallow you. I hear some of them never make it out. The best thing is to stay out of the desert entirely. But I have to go to the desert. I do have to talk, talk to these guys. These guys only tell lies. Only lies. Not one of them will tell you the truth. Just talk with them a couple times and you'll get sick of them. This place is heaven. This place is heaven. This place is heaven. Man with a gun on his arm? Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. You want to see the boss? Go southwest and you'll meet him. So that's got to be a lie. You'll meet him. You'll meet him. I don't remember how to get this gate open, and I hate this area just because of all these battles with the uh, with the bandits. God damn it, Barrett's gonna die. Don't get the hit cloud. This fucking I I hate this prison. All the enemies suck. These guys knock the shit out of you, the other ones steal from you. I got for um Do I have to talk to this guy? Yeah, I want to enter. Then go get permission with the boss of this place. Maybe that was it. This might this might do it. Yeah, by where those where the wrecked the the junk cars are. I remember that there was an enemy skill in that area. So we asked who the boss is to get permission from to get the chocobo race. This guy's like, you don't even know that? Oh, man. So hopefully that opened the gate. God dang it. This is good, though, because I am 
kind of low leveled, at least for me. I'm not normally this low leveled at this point of the game. Because I haven't really grinded anything. Guess what? What I miss? Why? Why can't I remember anything? Holy shit! Did you see Red Thirteen's wind pose? Like he stands up on two legs and then he licks his hand and like wipes his wipes his face. Yeah, yeah, I should use the other two limits. I wasn't thinking. I'm saving Barrett's for, for, uh, Dines. But I can't remember which one is the, um, it's still locked. It's still shut. How do I get out of here? Oh, my God. Then I got no, I got, I wasted my limit, got no EXP because they all ran. Oh my god, I wasn't even in the right section. What a moron I am. This is where I needed to go. I don't think there's... I wasn't even on the right screen. Holy shit. Yeah, all these backgrounds are pre-rendered. Yeah, I was on the wrong screen, Tia. I thought that was the gate. That was one, one screen too low. All right, we're on track now. Done being stupid. Well, thank you for the free heal. But it's like I'm not getting any EXP in any of these fights because they keep leaving. I just need to start running. I guess, did I kill one of them? I got some... Some there. I don't think there's anything at the bottom. Yeah, somebody already uh, took this chest. Alright, this is what I was looking for. I was stupid. Is there really? I've never played the Japanese version. So if you go the wrong direction here, it will just keep looping and looping on infinite screens. You can get lost. Are these the Match of Magic guys? Yes! Yes! Alright. I can now use that move. That's the one I would have had at the beginning of the game if um, I didn't uh, leave the enemy skill behind. Oh, I stole an X potion. Those are crazy potions. Look how, look how awesome that was. I hit all four of them for all that damage. Yeah, I just got one. I'm gonna I'm gonna try again. I gotta give this enemy skill to somebody else though because Cloud's my strongest right now. I just lost I screwed that up. I lost my limit. Oh my god, am I gonna die? I was not playing this fight smart. I forget, forget stealing. This is bad. This is bad. I can't farm to steal from them. They're going to kill me. Holy shit. Yeah, there's no way it'll be called Switch 2. Probably the Switch U. I'm gonna use a 
tent. I'm just gonna use it. Like, oh, there's no save point. Uh, is there one on the screen? This is bad. I can't, oh my god, I'm gonna be using up all my stuff. I'm going to give the enemy skill to red. That way Cloud can still attack. Why? What would have happened? I don't have revive. Like, I've, I've made mistakes. There's mistakes have been made. I don't have revive. I still have to buy it. I didn't have money when I was at the shop, and then I forgot to go back to get it. Man, the boss was really in a bad mood today. Or was it one of his better days? See, now on this screen, I, I knew there was an enemy skill on this screen. But I can't remember if it was uh, Match or Magic or if there was another one. I don't want to die, but... And I would like to farm for X potions, but I'm st still too low too low level that I'm gonna get wrecked. No, oh, these freaking guys just run. Laser. Okay, that was it. Do you know the enemy? like freaking runs up and smacks him with his belly. I don't want to use that. This is what I get for not um, grinding too much. And again, I don't have, um, revive. I've, I've, I've screwed up. We're gonna have to, uh, fight tooth and nail to get out of this mess. I'm gonna probably have to reload to save here. Oh my god. Holy shit. I thought I stole an X potion. What happened to it? I didn't see it there. What what am I gonna do, man? I don't have um Holy shit, he's still not dead. I'm running out of Phoenix Downs. I just gotta go do this dying fight. I gotta I gotta get out of here. I, I won't be able to make it back. Why does he get to go again? I, I have it on, um, wait. Because I've talked too much. What is going on? What's Big Blast? Oh, no. There it is, so it was hidden. Um, I only got one Phoenix down. I gotta go do this fight. Oh, okay. See, I, I then I gotta open a menu. I had it on there, so 
Normally I play uh, whatever the middle one is. Let me make sure I did do that. I put it on wait, yeah, because of uh, talking, but I didn't know that it only happens when the menu. I thought that was recommended. All right, we, we got to get out of here. I, I can't get in another fight. I'm going to die. I went the wrong way. I'm going to get in another fight. I guess laser is just not going to be on this uh, playthrough. Luckily, this fight is a one-on-one -on -one fight. I'll only be doing it with Barrett. So there's Dine. He's uh, He's got a gun on his left arm. Dine, is that you? Now that's a voice I haven't heard in years. So if you guys missed it yesterday, this town it used to be a town coral. And they were a big coal town. And they all their energy ran off coal for generations. Shinra came in and wanted them to stop using coal and start using Mako. Dine was the only one that didn't want to switch from coal to Mako in town. He had a bad feeling about it. Barrett talked him into it. So Shinra ends up murdering everybody, burning down the town, installing their reactor, and Barrett blames himself, and this is that's what you know why he's got the vendetta against Shinra. Uh everybody died including Barrett's wife. We don't know about how Marlene got out or anything. Dine was the only one that didn't want Shinra to come in, and uh, he was right. So Barrett wants to apologize to him, but apparently Dine's gone nuts and he's been murdering people. Now that's a voice I haven't heard in years. A voice I'll never forget. Yeah, exactly. I always hoped I'd be able to see you again someday. I knew you were alive somewhere. We had the same operation. Talking about his arm, their arms, obviously. I didn't skip that. I don't know what he just said. I can hear her voice. Was he talking about his? Did he say about his wife? Have a good one, Jack. Yeah. It's Eleanor's voice begging me not to hate your rotten guts. That's why I never hunted you down. I know I was stupid. I'm not asking you to forgive me. But what are you doing in a place like this? Why do you want to kill people who ain't even involved? Why? Why the hell do you care? You think the dead understand whys? Is hearing Shinra's excuses going to make people in Coral understand anything? I don't care about reasons. All they give us is artillery and artillery and stupid excuses. What's left is a world of despair and emptiness. You still want to hear why? All right, I'll tell you. Cuz I want to destroy everything. The people in this city. The city itself. The whole world. I got nothing left in this world. Coral, Eleanor, Marlene, Dine, Marlene, Marlene's still alive. I went back into town. I thought she was gone for sure. I wandered around town for a while. That's when I found her. Found Marlene. She's in Midgar. Let's go see her together, alright? So she's still alive? All right, Barrett, then I guess you and me got to fight. So Marlene is Dine's daughter. And Barrett saved her from the fire and took her with him. Because he didn't know where Dine was. Eleanor's all by herself. I got to take Marlene to her. That's crazy talk right there. His wife is dead, so now he wants to kill his daughter so she's with the wife. This, this game is dark. Dine, are you crazy? Marlene wants to see her mom, don't she? Stop, Dine. I can't die yet. Oh, yeah? Well, my life's been over ever since then. Stop it. I don't want to fight you. Completely insane. Barrett. Cloudy, stay the hell out of it. This is my problem. Thank God, because those other two, Red and Cloud, I ain't got no resources left, and they're almost dead. All right, so let's start with the limit. And then we're going to throw the right arm. Let's 
So this is a cool little one-on-one -on -one fight. I like that they did this. It's story-based. Okay, Eve. It's a story-based fight. See that freaking damage from that right arm? Insane. Should have stole two of them. But that ended the fight. Thank God. Got a silver armlet. Back! I didn't just lose an arm back then. I lost something irreplaceable. I don't know where it went wrong. Dine, I don't know either, man. Is this the only way we can resolve this? I told you. I want to destroy everything. Everything. This crazy world, even me. And what about Marlene? What's going to happen to her? Think about it, Barrett. How old was Marlene back then? I'd be like, well, she's four and running a bar now. She's aged pretty well. Even, I, if, even if I did go see her, she wouldn't even know me. And what's more, Barrett, my hands are too stained to carry her anymore. Give that pendant to Marlene. It was Eleanor's, my wife's, a memento. All right. So Marlene's already four. Barrett, don't you, don't you ever make her cry. I'm guessing my chat. Okay, thank you, Dark Side. Dine? Dine! So his last words were to make sure we never make his daughter cry. And the craziness caused him to uh, take his own life. Oh. <laughs> Dine! See, that's what I was afraid. I I I didn't want to make it a um a bad a bad scream. Dine, me and you were the same. Sorry for your ears there, guys. Blame blame Eve. She made me do it. My hands ain't any cleaner cleaner. I shouldn't carry Marlene either. You see these these guys are so hard on themselves. We saw it with Tifa earlier. Why can't he understand Marlene is alive because of him? She has a better life because of him, right? But all he cares about is he's, you know, now he's he's regretting the decisions, especially when we exploded Mako Reactor 1 at the beginning of the game. A lot of innocent people got murdered. Remember, you know, that it's for the greater good. Now Barrett's starting to realize I'm no different than him. I killed innocent people, so I shouldn't carry Marlene either, even though his heart is in the right place. And Marlene is better off because of him. He is a good dad, and he's trying to write things to make things as best as they can be for her. So we've seen it with Tifa already, where she blamed herself for Sector 7 being destroyed. Now Barrett is blaming himself, and he doesn't even think he should be carrying, carrying Marlene. I'm not doing that one. I'm not doing this one. I don't even know what that noise would be. Dine be dying. I just saw that. All right, so now we're back with Mr. Coates. Yeah. Barrett's heart is definitely in the right place. You want something? I want to go up. Like I told you before, you got to get the boss's permission, then win the chocobo. Race. He didn't finish it. Okay, so Dine was the boss. Dine was... So when we... Cloud wanted to go talk to the boss, and Barrett wanted to apologize for Dine. We're going to the same person. Dine's got his reasons and can't speak, so I got this instead. So that's what Dine threw to us to tell us to give it to Marlene. It was uh, her mother's. So this is proof that the boss is uh, out of commission. Yeah, bull. I want to go up. You're right. Did you kill Dine? You must have, or you'd never be holding that thing. So Dine's dead. Maybe now 
the place will calm down a little. Dine didn't care who anyone was. The hell do you know? The Barrett just picked this guy up by his throat. Pretty sure his feet are off the ground. Oh god. Then will you get us out of here? Oh man, you guys are mistaken. I already told you, there's only one way to get out of here. That's to win the chocobo race, and that's held up there in the gold saucer. And only one racer can go up at a time. Say what? No, really, even if you threaten me. A rule's a rule, I can't change it. If I do, the whole system down here will get messed up, and I can't do that. Okay, okay, I'll let one go up there. After that, he's got to deal with Dio. That was the guy running around in just Speedos, the owner of the gold saucer. All right, then. Cloud, you go. We'll wait down here. Hurry up and win that chocobo race and get us out of here. And we got to get to a store so I can buy a whole bunch of supplies. Yeah, 120, 122. Have you decided? All you need now is a manager to, to register and get a chocobo. Hi, I happen to hear your story. Esther? Look at this outfit on this one. I'll be your manager. Well, I have nothing against it, but... This is Esther. For some reason, was just roaming around in this prison. She may look kind of funny. Imagine introducing some, somebody like that. And right in front of them. Here's Esther. She may look kind of funny. But there's no better manager in the races. That's so rude. Yeah, well, nice to meet you, Cloud. All right, then, Cloud. I'll send you up the elevator. Esther will fill you in on the details. There's a summon materia in this room. I, I, I gotta grab it, or I'll never be able to get it. I probably will never use it, though. Hmm, so that's what happened. I'll talk to Dio directly. You just concentrate on the race. Oh, yeah, getting back to the other thing, there are many different types of chocobo jockeys. It's not only for criminals. <laughs> that's so rude. Some people compete for the fame, some people compete for the money, some only for glory. And then there's people like you. Oh yeah, I'll teach you how to ride a chocobo. I don't remember the buttons, so we're going to do this tutorial. First press, uh... Options. For auto or manual. That lets you control the chocobo yourself. Or lets it run on its own. But it's pretty hard to make the chocobo run the way you want it to. If the chocobo doesn't like you, it won't listen. Then you're stuck. But most of the chocobos I have are mellow, and you should be able to handle them. When you're riding, press X to speed up and A to slow down. But if you go faster than the chocobo can handle, it will quickly lose its stamina. Uh, okay, B is a boost of speed. That's what I need to know. X and B. See that materia over there glowing in the corner? I think it's Ramu. I can't remember. You knew? Hi, Joe. Hey, Esther. You're looking pretty as usual. Thanks. <laughs> Let me introduce you, Cloud. This is Joe, one of the top chocobo jockeys. Nice to meet you, Cloud. Does it bow? Is Ramu? Okay. Some things I remember, and then there's other things I just don't. If you're with Esther, then... Right, he's an up-and-coming jockey. He'd only been down there a day, and he already made it up here. What? Oh, I see. So why did you get put down? Sorry, we're not supposed to ask about the past here. Pretty interesting. I have a feeling that we'll meet again. Then until we meet again, Cloud... Who's that goofy guy? What the hell's his name? The, the goofy soldier guy on the bike. On the bike. Till we meet again, my friend! Why can't I think of his name right now? I'm gonna check on the chocobo. You just wait here for a while. Yeah, we're not gonna be doing. We're not gonna be doing the breeding and racing. We're sticking to the story path. The race will start in a few moments. The race will start in a few moments. 
Will the jockeys for the next race please proceed to the paddock? What's that guy's name in remake that I'm talking about? It's driving me nuts. The guy in chapter 4 on the bike and you end up having the fight with him. I repeat. What, what? No, I'm doing this race. I have to do this race. Um, just the grinding racing that you could do optionally later in the game I'm not going to do. This is driving me nuts that I can't think of that guy's name. I got to think of it. <laughs> oh, can I go in the race? All right, thank you. There's a way to cheese this if you, like, hold down. Um... How did I screw this up? If I, hold, if I think if you hold down the triggers, it's supposed to not do that. Jesus Christ. Um, there's a uh, metal version of the Chocobo song that's one of the themes from the actual game. What did I do wrong there? Besides waste all my stamina. I know there was a cheat where your stamina wouldn't go down or something, or it would recover. I thought it was to hold down both triggers. It didn't work. I'll do it again. Maybe it was the... Maybe it was the bumpers? I thought it was the triggers. Dude, look up the Chocobo theme from Final Fantasy 13 2. It's like, do you want to ride a Chocobo? Oh, I'm on manual. That's the problem. I mean, I wasn't on manual. Okay, this is not the end, even though that looks like a finish line. So we'll be alright this time. There's the finish line. Alright. The same Cena theme, um... Dun, 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 that one. So we had to win that to progress. Congratulations! Now you're home free, and that gets us out of prison. Thank you, Darkseid. I don't know what... I, I remember there was a, a cheat where if you hold held down either the triggers or something, it would keep your stamina, but uh, it didn't work. Oh yeah, the owner told me to give you this letter to you if you won. Boy, if you're reading this letter, then you must have won. I know you earned it. I heard about dying from Esther. Now that you've won, I'm granting you and your friends a full pardon, setting you all free. All we had to do was win a race to get out of prison. Be pardoned for a crime we didn't even commit. Dying killed all those people. And by way of apology, I have a little gift for you to use on your journey. Sorry I couldn't be there to tell you this in person, but I'm a very busy man. Sincerely, Dio. A gift? Somebody got a phone? Aerith has a phone somehow. We all got phones. Cloud, this is great. The assistant manager just stopped by and dropped off a buggy. Now we can go over deserts and rivers, no problem. Okay, Cloud, I'll be waiting outside. Hmm, the letter continues. P.S. I recently met Sephiroth. I, I'll bet he's pretty popular with boys your age. Why don't you get his autograph? He was heading toward Gungaga, south of the river. So, in blue, tells us where we go next, but we already knew that because we have a roadmap on the screen. Gangaga is our next destination, but we are going to make a detour before we go to Gangaga because I need supplies. I need to get two enemy skills that I have missed. I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, well, if you ever get your own chocobo, come back again, in which you can do these races 
and you can breed chocobos and you'll be able to find secret caves around the world if you have a different chocobo and stuff. All right, well, let's go with... Who do we want to take with us on this little journey? We're going to take Aerith and Kate Sith. Because I don't use Kate Sith that much, but I want I want you guys to see all these characters and see them in action and stuff. So, uh, now we got the buggy. You can even enter Colsa del Sol and Junon by buggy by hitching a ride on the cargo ship. So we can bring it to the other side. All right, so let's do Materia... Who did I give the healing to? Red. So this stuff's gonna go to Aerith. Um, Kate Sith needs Barret stuff. And I can also give him the long range. Put him in the back row. So this long range material, if you guys weren't here or don't know about it, when characters are in the front row of fighting battles, uh, they do their full damage and they take full damage. And you see how Aerith is off to the to the right. She's in the back row. Characters in the back row take less damage, but they do less um, up close physical attacks. But long range attacks and magic attacks cause the same damage in the back row. So if you put a magic user in the back row, they do the same amount of damage and they uh, take less. Now Kate Sith, his attack is, you saw me punches him. So if I put Kate Sith in the back row, that punch attack will do less damage. But because I put the long range material on him, it will do full damage in the back row. So that's what we're going to do. Because we'll still take less damage that way. Now, are we equipped? Oh, that silver armlet is really good. She's going to wear that. Okay. Yeah, when do they tell you... I mean, this is going to be a spoiler, guys. Kate Sith is... Um, animatronic. Like, it's not a real cat, it's a toy. Uh, I don't remember when they tell you that, but um, I think I can get the... Uh... Do we got Manipulate on? I think I, on this little beach I can get Big Guard. Manipulate. Enemy skill. Alright. So let's get this. Okay, I can't, yeah, I can't remember if they if it's way late when they spell it out. Is it in the Temple of the Ancients? Okay, right before. Oh, oh, at the Gold Saucer again. All right, so these guys could give us big guards. So what we want to do is manipulate one. And when you manipulate one successfully, you control them. Right there, turn green, I got it. So let's get rid of these other ones. All right, so I'm going to do big guard on all of them because I'm wearing the enemy skill. I did it the wrong way. Aerith's got the enemy skill. I'm an idiot. I, I needed to do that on Aerith. We will. Pay attention, Jeff. But because Aerith has the enemy skill, she will, she will learn big guard. And what big guard is... Um, oh, my God. I totally screwed this up. We gotta do another one. Ah, brain fart. Well, spoiler there. Yeah, I haven't spoiled that part of it. Let's not spoil his uh, his motivations. I need to uh, do that again. Because I needed to do the big guard on uh, Aerith. Because she's got the enemy skill. But they'd probably be all on the same same side now. Yeah, so we're good. Okay. Teaser, yeah. But what Big Guard does, it gives you full barrier, both magic and regular barrier. Which greatly affects the amount of damage you do. So you'll see at the top, it will say, Learn Enemy Skill Big Guard. So now we got it. That's one That's one I wanted to get, and we're going to go get White Wind, which is a healing one. Oh, it does give you haste? I forgot about that. Thank you. Haste makes your your ATB bar, which is your, your turn to attack, it makes it go faster.
All right, so we got that done. That's good. That is a very key enemy skill. So this should take the... Let's go shopping first. This should take the... Um, uh, the, the buggy to the other side. Yeah, big guard is nuts. Oh, wait, hold on. I want to see if they got restore. Yuffie's not working here anymore. She ran off with her money and materia. Yuffie did. I guess any situation that seems too good to be true usually is. Feel free to browse around. Just don't mind looking at leftovers. Please have restore. All right, good. Oh, revive. I meant revive. Okay. We got to get that equipped immediately. I, I should have had this a long time ago. actually going to put it on cloud so it can get the double AP right now since I'm behind on it okay now we'll go buy some supplies okay because I came into Costa del Sol with the buggy it's automatically going to be on the boat now. Alright. We got to get stronger, guys. Get out of my way. Um. Okay, cool. I gotta find the Turtles Paradise poster, which should be, um, I'm pretty sure there's one in Junon. A little dramatic with the backing in here, huh? Oh god, the music. Where'd my, um, there we go. I'm going where those went. I think it's like on, see, okay, now these weapons should have changed. There should, she should have some new weapons now. I think. Unless I didn't unlock any other ones. Okay, I haven't unlocked any other ones. Any other ones. I think it's on a wall? But no, that wouldn't make sense. I don't think there is one here because I just got number three at the gold saucer and um, this would have been out of order I don't think there is one here I think I'm wrong like I figured I thought there was one like on a wall on this but I think that's in Wutai yeah I don't think I, I don't think there is So we're doing some backtracking to go get an enemy skill. Yeah, I don't think there's one here. I think I'm misremembering that. Okay, alright, alright, so there's two there before and five, and then six is in Wutai. Thank you. So I'm good. So this takes us back down to the town under Junon.
that door that we couldn't go in before that the guy told us to stay away was Shinra business. I can't believe I didn't die in the prison. I thought for sure I was going to die, especially that one fight when Red was down and Cloud was down and Barrett had 35 HP. How the hell did I not die? Where's Priscilla? I thought she gets nasty with me coming in this time. No, that tickle. I didn't touch you. I don't know why I remember coming in here and her yelling at, like, calling me a pervert or something. Am I totally misremembering that? All right, so I think they're in the brown spots. I think the Zemas, whatever they are, they look huge, and they're they, there. They are, but they're not strong at all. So we have to manipulate it. Got it. Yeah, I must be just. I don't know where I got that from. Why did he lose his minute? Oh, because I hit him. I can't hit him. I'm stupid. I knocked him out of manipulation, I think. And now can I, can I not manipulate him again in the same fight? Why do I keep screwing everything up? Sloppy play. See, he hardly does any damage. I'm just going to kill him and find another one. I think I screwed this up. Uh... It's because he's an early area enemy, so he's not really hurting us. Well, I had it, and then I knocked him out of it. So I don't know if maybe you can't re-manipulate the same enemy. I don't know. I've never tried that I can remember anyway. All right. Let's try not to screw it up this time. We got a back attack, so the thing's going to go slow. All right, we're not going to d touch him. Oh, there we go, white wind, okay. Got it, excellent. Kill this guy, get the hell out of here. Yeah, I did. I'm guessing you typed that before I, I did. Alright. Back across the sea. Pay this guy like 10 gil or something. Alright, so those are two key enemy skills. Three now that I got. Ma Ma Matra magic will become kind of irrelevant the farther you get into the game when enemies are much stronger. But the other two, you use pretty much the whole game, especially Big Guard. Well, I guess White Wind too, yeah, so be using those the whole game. Where do I get Aqualung? Don't I get that in the desert somewhere? I'm gonna save. I haven't saved in a while. The long haul. Yeah, and I would have uh, had it on two of them. If I didn't miss the one that I already missed. I think it's in the desert. Thank you.
All right. I am back. Harpies in the desert are on Gold Saucer have Aqualung. Thank you. So I was right on that. It was the desert. Some things I do remember correctly. So we'll go try to get that now. So we have to go back down that way anyway to go to Gungaga. Me? Gungaga. So this right here, we needed the buggy to cross this. We wouldn't be able to get over here. We're back. Oh, you can get in fights in the buggy. I didn't know that. Alright, so do I have to manipulate or will they use it? I'll try to manipulate it anyway. Beautiful. Beautiful. Even though it almost freaking destroyed me. So his limit break, it does damage depending on what he rolls with the dice. That was pretty good, 800. Yeah, I got smoked with it, but I got it now. Let me make sure. I'm pretty sure I did. And good, the all leveled up. Um, yeah, Aqualung, we got it. All right, so these are four good ones already. And I like to get the question mark one. Isn't that the one where the lower health you have, the more damage it does? The one that's all like question marks? Yeah, I need to level those up. Alright, Aerith. Dang, he did 251 with that. Fire level up, nice. So I think that's the first level up. We'll now have level 2 Fyra, and um, that does more damage than fire. Um, but it also use, uses more MP. Yeah, Fire 2. I guess it wasn't called Fire yet. It's just Fire 2. Yeah, Beta. Yeah. Um, I remember how to do it because you don't want to kill him too early. I think you hit Bio on him. You poison him. And then you kind of chip away until he stands up. And hope he doesn't kick out the person that has the um, enemy skill. And then let him hit, and let it hit Beta. And then... Um, and then try to kill him. Alright, so Gungaga is around here somewhere. I think it's to the left. This house over here. Uh, normally you can visit it. Normally I would visit that and get Eris' fourth limit break. That's not going to be happening. These look like prissy dragons, don't they? What the hell's its name? A Gaggy Handy? Gaggy Gaggy Handy? I got no idea. Yeah, I think it's over here to the left. I, I also, in the reactor there, I would grind, I used to grind for, with Yuffie, um, later in the game when you get her ultimate weapon and you can, uh, morph with full hit, and then they morph into, like, guard sources or something, the, uh, 
Triceratops tanks. Yeah. Oh, it's power source? Okay. The grand horns. I gotta get the frog thing on, too. that is. Berserk on all opponents. I've never used that or the loco weed. Alright. Aerith. The white king. And I want to make sure she now has the heal. Or who's got heal? Actually, heal, heal won't um, cure frog, will it? Got it. It's just this poison right now. Yeah, I do it when I got Yuffie because she can one shot them and morph them. Uh, once you get the conformer or whatever. Okay, here's Gungaga. Oh, there's Rude and Reno. This is a funny conversation. Hey, Rude, who do you like? What are you getting so embarrassed about? Come on, who do you like? Tifa. Hmm. That's a tough one. But poor Elena. She, you. No, she likes Sung. It's like gossiping high schoolers. I never knew that. But Sung likes that ancient, so Sung likes Aerith. <laughs> what are they talking about? Rude's got a thing for Tifa. Now here comes Elena. Is Rude and Reno? It's so stupid. They always talk about who they like or don't like, but Sung is different. I think Elena likes Sung. Yeah, Rude said that. Ah, oh no. They're here. They're really here. Hmm, then it's time. Rude, don't go easy on them. Not even the girls. Don't worry, I'll do my job. Then we're counting on you. I'll report to Sung. I think I can steal some... Um, can I steal a... Uh, uh, like an armor or something from them here? It's been a while. Payback time for what you did in Sector 7. I don't like being taken for a fool. That's as far as you go. I might lose this fight. I should have saved. We're gonna big guard. Okay, so Reno doesn't have anything. What about Reno? Or, I mean, Reno didn't have anything. What about Ruby? Nothing to steal. Okay. So you see now that barrier has stuff. That's what the big guard did. It gave me a barrier and magic barrier, which reduces all damage. Oh, she's uh, she's almost out of MP. Got to remember to use the ether on her. Rude and Reno would be a, a good tag team name. No. Stick. Ass 
missiles curing each other. God, I think Big Guard takes a shitload of MP, doesn't it? Let's see, she's got 101. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 56? Yeah, that's where you, that's where you can steal the stuff, isn't it? on the Gelnika. Should I have attacked Rude first? Do I have to attack them both? I, I don't really remember this fight. Yeah, I mean, it's worth it, but right now, when I don't... Okay, there we go. When I don't have, um... Not leveled up too high, it pretty much kills her entire MP. Fairy tale. What's fairy tale? Is that a weapon for Aerith? How could they know that we were coming here? They followed us, but there weren't any signs of it. Then that means... You don't think there's a spy, do you, Cloud? Alright, so somehow... The Turks had information that we were coming here. How would they know that? Okay, yeah, I just saw that to you. I hate this, but everyone's gonna blame me because I'm new. I don't even want to think about there being a spy. So now we got a party of six, excuse me, seven, and now everybody's gonna start maybe not trusting each other? Nope, not Cloud, he trusts everyone. All right. Nothing linked though, a shitload of spots, and it's a better, it's a better um, thing. So what do I got, let me, let me see what we got linked with her right now before I do all this. Restore and lightning. Now that I got Matra magic, that'll be okay to not link the lightning. Um, so let's equip it. And then I will rearrange. Um, I don't know why I switched the alls. Okay, so restore is still... Alright, so what... Is there anything else I want to give her? I mean, it's, it's going to take away so much stuff. Um, no, we're not going to... We're not going to give her anything else. They'll just be empty spaces. But it's a, it's a better staff. to get turned into frogs. What the hell is that? A flower prong? I don't even remember this enemy. I have no idea what this enemy is. Jesus, he's got bio too? Holy shit! I don't remember this enemy at all. Good lord. Is there anything I can steal? I, I have no recollection of this flower prong. Is that going to put us to sleep? Everybody but Aerith. Oh, son of a bitch. And I'm losing, like, I have no um, MP. Oh, laser! 
I could have learned that, but it would have knocked Aerith out. She wouldn't have learned it. Um, come on. Oh my god, they're still asleep. What? If she, yeah, if she gets hit with the laser, she's going to die with all the damage that it's doing. Um, so I won't learn it. Oh, she didn't die. Did I learn it? Is that is that not the same laser? That's a different laser, isn't it? That's a W laser. I don't think it's the same one. The other one's like L-A-Z-E-R, isn't it? Why aren't they waking up when they get hit? Yeah, that, that, that's the problem. Like, why is he not waking up from his sleep? It's got to be a physical attack. Oh my god, I killed him. What am I doing? What an idiot. I finally tried to steal. I didn't notice his HP was so low that it, w that it would kill him. What an idiot move that was. Wow, that was dumb. Alright, so Aerith's got a new limit break. I think that one kind of sucks, doesn't it? Because it wasn't a magic attacks don't kick him out of the sleep. Oh no, we're still on level one. Um, no. What does this... Stops the magic of all opponents. Okay, but I think for her to get to level two now, she's got to kill enemies, right? Alright, uh, let me see if I can make it out of here and use... Guess it's Barrett. Kate Sith is still dead. Um, I should probably use a tent, though. Tent doesn't revive them. Just wasted that. Stupid, man. Okay, so the reason why we're going to Gungaga is because Dio said that Sephiroth was headed that way. But first we're going to go to this reactor. I'm pretty sure there's a Materia in there. Yeah, these things. You can morph them... I think I left the, I think I have the long range material on Barrett, which is a waste, he doesn't need it, I'm gonna put it on Cloud. How much, um, HP has this guy got? Thank you. 
So move Cloud to the back row. He'll, he'll do the same amount of damage now, but take less damage because he has the long range materia on. A ruined reactor. I guess we don't have to blow this one up. Does Scarlet come in here? Yeah. Scarlet is on, maybe? The Scarlet, head of the Shinra weapon development. Hmm, this isn't any good either. You only get junky materia from junky reactors. This reactor's a failure. What I'm looking for is big, large, huge materia. You seen any? No, I haven't seen it. I'll get on it right away. Please, we can make the ultimate weapon if we only had some. I just can't wait. With Hojo gone, weapon, de weapon development's been getting a bigger budget. I envy them. But even if we make the perfect weapon, could that stupid high digger ever or even use it? Oh, sorry, I forgot. High digger was your boss. Kya ha ha! Let's go. There's materia here somewhere. Big, large, huge materia. An ultimate weapon. The perfect weapon. Just what are Shinra up to? Yeah, I don't even, uh, I didn't, that flower that was screwing me up with that W laser, I, I don't know if I've, I'm, I'm sure I have fought it before. I don't remember it. Something shiny back there, reach for it. Alright, Titan Materia, so that's another summon one, he does earth damage. Haven't really used summons much, they take a lot of MP, I probably should start using them. I usually wait till I get like Bahamut. This area reminds me of Final Fantasy IX, kind of, where you you find uh, Quina. There's frogs there, too. I wonder if I can manipulate it. This frog is called a Touch Me. Got it. Good. It's Frog's song, right? That's the enemy skill. Okay, sweet. I might as well limit his ass. I hate these frogs. Gaga. Got some graves over here. Cemetery. A reactor explosion three years ago took my husband. That's sad. I think the ruined reactor, that's got to be the same one we just were at, right? Where we got Titan. Alright, updated the road map in Gungaga. Let's see what we're selling here. One of these is a shop. Let's hear a story. What do you got to say? We voted to outlaw the use of Mako energy and live with nature ever since the explosion. Alright, just accessories. Um, Mystify magic I have never used... Time is haste, right? Time magic? Is that haste and... I never really use these two, Mystify and Time. I'm not going to get them now anyway because I don't have enough money. I think I can climb this pole. I don't remember if there's anything up here, though. Oh, weapons. Okay, let's hear a story. Shinra built the reactor without even thinking about the town's safety, and this is the result. What weapons you got? 
Anything? Oh, atomic scissors. That's a um, melee and not a gun, so I don't want it. Wait a minute. I have a diamond pin, and I haven't equipped it on him yet. So I was using red 13 with a worse weapon than I had to have. Man, I, I really got to get my head in the game. I haven't re-equipped Yuffie, but I haven't used her since I got that weapon. I need some armor, man. That's what I need to spend my money on right now. So I hope there's a armor shop here. Let's hear a story. One day a huge... Did that chest just open on its own? Did, it, did anybody see that in the top corner? One day a huge explosion killed many of the townspeople. Oh no, it's flashing. I thought it, I thought it opened... X potion. At some point, we end up sleeping in those beds. I don't remember why. This is Gungaga Village. Many people died here in a Mako reactor explosion. Alright, that's for Kate Sith, the M phones. Megaphone. They just. It didn't all fit, so they. Abbreviate, abbreviated as an M phone. Well, they're all different colors, his weapons. Just, some are stronger than others. This is a materia shot. Let's hear your story. Shinra built the reactor without even thinking about the town. Okay, I think somebody else already said that. So this, we're just two towns now out here in the western continent. They build the reactor in Coral and Shinra just murders everybody, burns the town down. They build one in Gagaga, and the thing explodes and kills people. So we're not having good luck with Mako reactors out here in the Western Continent. I have four Maidens Kiss. That's good. Those cure the frogs. Um, I want more of these things. I just I don't want to spend the money right now because I don't have a lot. I guess there's no armor shop here. Ah, it's a little disappointing. This is where we have to go, if I remember correctly. Yeah. You a traveler? Hey, wait. That glow in your eye. Are you in soldier? Oh, you're right. Don't you know anything about our son? His name is Zack. It's been close to ten years since he left for the city. Saying that he didn't want to live in the country. He left saying he's going to join Soldier. You ever hear of a Zack and Soldier? That's sad. So, their son Zack went to join Soldier 10 years ago. They don't know what happened to him. They don't know if he's alive. They don't know if he's dead. They don't know where is it, where he is. They see another Soldier. Hey, have you ever, have you ever heard of Zack? Where's our son? That's sad, man. Hmm, I don't know. Zack. Aerith knows something. Young lady, you know him? I remember he wrote us six or seven years ago saying he, he had a girlfriend. Could that have been you? That can't. Okay, something's wrong with Aerith. This, this, it's out of character for her. She's no cheery, peppy. Something just bothered her. So we remember at the beginning of the game when she was in uh, on top of the... in the playground in Sector 6 with Cloud... She said she had a boyfriend that was in Soldier. Is this the same guy? She's acting really weird. Can't believe he hasn't contacted us in 10 years. After all, we're his parents. That's sad, man. Have you ever met someone in Soldier named Zack? This story is deep, man. There's a lot of um, dark stuff. Aerith. So this wouldn't ha I don't think this would happen if she wasn't in, in your party, right? I don't think she pops out, but I can't remember. Okay, so now we're getting the story. What a shock. I didn't know Zack was from this town. You know him? Didn't I tell you he was my first love? Well, she never said his name. Zack, soldier first class, same as Cloud. Strange, there aren't that many who make first class, but I've never heard of him. That's all right. It's all in the past now. I was just worried because I heard he's been missing. Missing? 
It was five years ago. He went on a job and never came back. I don't know why she didn't tell his parents. He loved women, women, a real ladies man. He probably found someone else. So she doesn't even know what happened to him. Hey, what's wrong? Poor guy. I don't really mind that I haven't heard from him, but I feel for his parents. Let's go, Cloud. So I don't know how you get the trigger. Where's the story trigger here? Do I have to go out the other exit? To tell me to go to Cosmo Canyon next. Death blow materia. Okay. This will be good on Tifa later. I can't remember which weapon. One of her weapons works well with that. What death blow does is... It lowers your accuracy but does like a critical hit every time or something. I know I always put it on Vincent when he's got... Um, a high attack, but 255 attack percentage gun, or I put it on um, Tifa when she's got a certain weapon. What the hell? I think that's what it does. Did I not? I had to have done everything there. I had to hit the story beats. It might have been Scarlet might have been what I needed to do, but I don't think there's anything else to do in Gungaga. Let, let, let's go check one more time. Kamara bug. Yeah, it, it's a deal either critical damage or miss. I think I'm gonna go stay in the inn anyway. I don't think I missed any story beats, but there was nothing that said to that told me where to go next. That's what I'm confused about. I talked to them. I went in every house. I got all their stories. Did I hear his story? It's been a while since the explosion, but you can still find the pieces that left all over town. Let's take a room. 80 gil. We're moving on. I don't remember how you get the story trigger to know or, or get told where to go next. But we can see on the road map we're going to uh, Cosmo Canyon. Which is right around here. I wonder if this is just one you're supposed to figure out on your own. Wrong way. I missed my turn. So when that timer gets to zero, Cloud will become petrified and turn to stone. That's what that that's what that means. I think I'm going to switch Aerith out. And put Red in, because we're going to his hometown. Let's go Yuffie and Red. Let's see what happens. I can't believe I forgot to equip all these uh, weapons for them. Um, 
What noises do you like? Alright, let's try this squad right now. This is where we need to go. We're going to Cosmo Canyon, which is Red 13's hometown. Now, if you remember, he said, I'm only going with you as far as home. So, he's going to be getting off the ride here. Yeah, it showed up fine in the app. I, but for some reason on this, it's not. Ah, Sahagans. Whatever they are. That did no damage. Why is red so weak there? Yeah, this game's got great sounds. Why is he doing such little damage? What did I do to him? One? Or th these guys just got a good defense or something? He just did one damage. He did one damage. What the frick is going on here? And then a miss. Grease Lightning. Did that do nothing? I'm so- I don't remember- Do I gotta use magic on these guys? Okay, I guess I gotta use magic. Well, that didn't do that much. That only did 72. And maybe that they could be strong against fire, though. Alright, we got bolt 2 now. Alright, Cosmo Canyon. As soon as I can type it, we will update the, uh, the map. I am home, it is I, Nanaki. So Red13, remember when we found him, he said, we asked him what his name, and he just said, Hojo calls me Red13, call me what you wish. Well, his name is Nanaki. He never told us. Hey, Nanaki, you're safe. Come on and say hello to Bugenhagen. Nanaki? So Cloud was confused that that was his name. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? Let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to seek the study of planet life. Unga! I'm sorry, it's full now, so I can't let you enter. What is the Unga? What is that all about? So they only let a certain amount of people in town at a time? It's like the fire marshal have a uh, limit. They helped me when I was on the road. Please let them in. Oh, is that so? You helped our Nanaki? Please come in. Yes, we helped your Nanaki. <laughs> Who is Nanaki? Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. Okay. So he's out of the party right now. Let's bring... Um... Kate Sith in for now. It's just kind of walking around town, I think. When we actually go on the mission here, I will get my party straightened away. So let's check out the places first. There are two turtle paradises here that I need to find. Welcome! How about our original cocktail, the Cosmo Candle? A drink now and then is a dr oh, drink now and then is good for you. It'll relax you a bit, if you don't want to stop. I don't know if it was a tribal yell. That's what I'm that's what I like about, I'm sure we'll learn it in remake, Rebirth. Because I'm sure we have to come this far in Rebirth. No, that's all he says, okay. What about you? No, no. I'm trying to talk to this guy. Elder Boog. Is that so? You brought Nanaki back here. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Here. 
Alright, there's Turtles Paradise number five. Our cocktails are good, but our wine is the best. Please stop in the Turtle Paradise. So we gotta find number four is also here. The Shildra Inn. No thanks. I think we're good right now. A little little Terra. Imagine having to climb a ladder that high to get to a store. Hello, looking for anything in particular? Nothing yet. Now we can't... Later on when we come back here in the game, this uh, rope will be down and we'll be able to go out that door there. And it swings around to the back and get something in the back room. But we can't do that now. Why what? Why... Why can't I go back there and... How'd, how'd you get it back out? Toss it? What? What? I'm lost already. How'd I get what back out? I don't know how I forget things that happened like five... That I said five seconds ago. Oh, to, yeah, to climb, I mean, it said imagine climbing a ladder to, to have to go to a store, climb a giant ladder to go shopping. Here is where I was. I mean, this is my hometown. So I think he was going to say, like, here, here was where I was born, but he didn't say that. My tribe are protectors of those who appreciate this beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave mother fought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. So he's got something very similar with Aerith, right? They're both the last of the races. Aerith is the last Cetra. Maybe? Sephiroth says he's one. We haven't got confirmation on that yet. But they kept calling Aerith the last ancient, and now Red says he's the last of his race. Cowardly father. Yes, my father was a wastrel. I don't know what that means. And so the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect this place. My journey ends here. So that's why Red Nanaki does not... That's why he said he will go as far with us to here. Because he his mission is to protect Cosmo Canyon. Hey, Nanaki, you're home. Coming, Grandpa! Well, how does he have a grandpa if he's the last of his race? Rest, rest, rest. I want to rest. Okay, that's that. Yuffie is such a uh, teenager. Tasty cocktails, pub starlet, fluffy beds in the Shildra Inn. Come in today. It's right near Cosmo Candle. We already went there. I think this is it. Yes, number four. All right. So all we need is number six, and that's in the same town that the side mission's in, Wutai. Now hiring. Looking for someone who, who can stand long hours of boredom. For details, contact the Turtle's Paradise. All right. What do you got for weapons? The people of this canyon hate to compete, so almost everything here are replicas. But that's all right. Some of them you really can use. All right, so we got a better weapon for Cloud. I got to be careful. I will not be able to buy everybody's weapon because I only got 10,000. So Tifa's is a big up. Cloud's is only a three upgrade. Tifa is a big one. We're going to take that. Long range weapon. We are going to take that. Um, see, I I think this is an upgrade for Barrett, but I don't. Or oh, for fuck, Red 13, awesome. but I don't know because he's not in the party. So, there's a lot... Oh, God. Uh, they had these. Damn it. How many can I get? I can get four. Alright, maybe if I equip, I can sell some stuff. Nope, I can't because I only got Cloud right now. But at least I can... Alright, I'll have to come back to this store. What did I just take off of? sell that. Am 
might as well sell the hard edge. And um, tight, tighten bangles. I'm going to sell that Shinra beta because it had like zero magic defense. I don't think I'll ever use it. And the four slots I'll never use. That's a decent amount of gill. Um, cannonball. Wow, 3,000? Okay. Oh no, that's what I had. I didn't get that much for it. So we can get one more weapon. Um, probably get Tifas. Oh, no, I already got Tifas. Um, I'll get I'll get Yuffies. I must have um, normally grinded way more every time I played this game. I've never been ever been in it situation in this game where I'm running out of gill. Bugenhagen sealed this door shut. How'd he do that? With super glue? Those two, uh, anyway, are you two friends? It seems real. it seems really strange. Hmm, this place seems like it has a lot of secrets. So when's dinner? I don't think a robot can eat. Oh man, this place looks like a real drag, and the materia sucks too. It's all she cares about is materia. There's Red, and this must be his grandpa? So, must be his ado adopted grandpa. Yep. I never understood this. I don't know if this is the... Is that what's behind the... Do you get that from Bugenhagen, or is that what's behind the shop when the rope goes down the full cure? So he says, Cloud, this is my grandfather, Bugen. He's incredibly knows everything. So he calls him Bugen, but his name is Bugenhagen. So is that Bugen part of mistranslation? And if you notice, the guy doesn't have any legs. He's kind of like floating. So I think he's got like an air wheelchair or something. I'm not sure. Ho, ho, ho. I hear that you looked after Nanaki. Nanaki is still a child, you see. Please stop, Grandfather. I'm 48. Behind the rope in the shop? Okay. Ho, ho, ho. Nanaki's tribe has incredible longevity. So you see, his 40, 48 years would only be equivalent to, say, that a 15 or 16-year-old in human reckoning. 15 or 16? He's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult? Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up to be able to protect you in the village. Ho, ho, ho. No, Nanaki, you can't stand on your own yet. To do that now would destroy you in the long run. Reaching up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgar. You've seen it, haven't you? Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. He just bounced up on the table. When it is time for the planet to die, you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies, ho ho ho, it may be tomorrow or a hundred years from now, but it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cries of the planet. That's interesting. What's that? 
the sounds of the stars in the heavens. While this goes on, planets are born and die. What was that? Ho, ho, ho. I mean, is this guy Santa Claus? That was a scream from the planet. Didn't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt, I suffer. So somehow he, whatever he's doing in this lab, this equipment he has or whatever, can hear the, hear the planet. They have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? Ho, 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 to save the planet. Ho, ho, ho. But then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show him. Boogenhagen! Several odd-looking people are here. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that's us. That's our friends. Ah, oh, AJR Rod, what's up? Thank you. Appreciate that. This whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. He brought friends, too. I'll go get them. So all the weird-looking people they were talking about was us. Cloud, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in Grandfather's Machine. Okay. So we're going to have Red 13 wherever we're going. We need to pick one more person. So where we're going is to the Cave of the Gi. And there's going to be like a lot of enemies that are kind of like ghosts in there. So it would be Cloud Red 13. And I think I'm going to... Alright, thank you AJ. Appreciate it. My camera working. I think I'm going to take Aerith. No, you know what? We're going to take Yuffie. I, I just set Yuffie up with all that stuff. I don't want to redo all that. We'll, we'll take Yuffie. She was back up there. I already missed her. Actually, I might as well save one down there. This Cave of the Gi, where we're going next, can be tough. And um, since I'm the lowest level that I've ever been here, I'm kind of nervous. So saving was a good idea. That way, if I die, I can reload that save right there and maybe, you know, go grind a few levels. If he's in here. God, I hate studying. Oh, I don't take red? Really? I thought he had to go. All right, well, I'm misremembering this. I'll take Tifa. Okay. Um. Why did I think he had to go? So let's get all their new stuff that I just got. First off, Cloud needs to go back in the front because I put the long range on Tifa. Tiger Fang's better, and then the Silver Armlet, and Pinwheel, right, yeah. Pinwheel, and Silver Armlet, okay, alright, now that I did all that, I want to save again, that way if I die, I don't have to redo that material and equipment again, sell some things first, so we can sell Tifa's weapons, didn't I just sell that? I had two of those? Alright, I'll mess with selling more weapons later. Here, over here, the door's unlocked. Come in. Ho, ho, ho. It looks like you have them all together. Then let's begin. I'll stand there. This will be like a, a planetarium type thing, I believe. He was waddling right towards you guys. Wow, it's just like the real thing. Hmm, yes, pretty good. This is my laboratory. It's like the music at the beginning of the game. 
all the workings of space are entered into this 3D holographic system. Look, look, a shooting star. That was bright. Wow. Oh, this is amazing. Yes, it is. I'm not going to say the ho-ho-hos anymore. Yes, it is something, isn't it? But let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. But what happens to them after they die? The body decomposes and returns to the planet. So remember, that's what Aerith said in the flashback when she was little. That her mom returned to the planet. And that uh, Elmira's husband returned to the planet. That much everyone knows. What about their consciousness, their hearts, and their souls? The soul, too, returns to the planet. And not only those of humans, but everything on this planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, and divide, becoming a swell called the life stream. Life stream. In other words, a path of energy of the souls roaming the planet. So imagine like just this green wave of energy just swirling around everywhere of all the souls of people that used to live on the planet still alive in the afterlife in the life stream. Spirit energy is a word that you should never forget. A new life, children are blessed with spirit energy and, and uh, are brought into the world. Then the time comes when they die and once again return to the planet. Of course there are exceptions, but this is the way of the world. I've digressed, but you'll understand better if you watch this. So there's the body and the, of a person in the tree dying. And then their souls going back to the planet into the uh, into the planet into another person. The circle of life as the Lion King taught us. And the life stream. Spirit energy is the source of all life for trees, birds, and humans. And not only living things, it, and not only living things, it makes it possible to form. Oh, not only living things, it makes it possible to form planets. And if that spirit energy were to disappear, the planet would die. I'm guessing is next. Yep. even have to say it we just saw the planet crumble these are the basics of the study of planet life if spirit energy disappears our planet will die spirit energy is efficient because it exists within nature when spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured it can't accomplish its true purpose so what he's talking about there is Shinra sucking all the Mako out of the planet and manufacturing it makes it unable to, to do its true purpose and that's why the planet is dying. You're talking about Mako energy, right? Every day Mako reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energy is compressed in reactors and processed into Mako energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. That puts an even more grim... Uh, dark part of, the, of this story so like this spirit energy is partly like living living energy and souls of people are being used up and thrown away in other words Mako energy will only destroy the planet
So that's just kind of a to let you know what Barrett was talking about at the beginning. You know, stop Shinra, they're destroying the planet, they're destroying the planet, they're taking all the Mako out of the planet, everything's going to die. This was the actual full explanation of why the planet would die. The story of the planets and those who lived with them. If you want to know more, then you must listen to the words of the elders. Nanaki, his father's a coward. Remember, he, Red 13 told us that his, his mother died and his father was a coward. So that's it. Nanaki's been thinking that all this time. Hmm. So it seems like Bugenhagen knows something that Red doesn't. Where do I go now, man? I know I have to go in that door, because that's where the Cave of the Gi is. But I don't remember how to trigger it. Maybe we have to go to the fire? I think we have to go to the fire. Go to the fire. Yeah, okay. Everybody's at the fire. All right, that's where we had to go. I think we can talk to everybody here. Cloud, bonfires are funny, aren't they? They make you remember all sorts of things. You know, Cloud. Five years ago, it's nothing. So again, five years ago was when, when Cloud was telling the story of Nibelheim and Sephiroth destroying it. And um, when he went there and Tifa's, Sephiroth killed Tifa's dad and that whole flashback. When he was telling the story, it seemed like Tifa knew stuff, but she wasn't saying anything. Now it's like, it seemed like she wanted to tell Cloud something and then just decided against it. Something about that flashback and what happened five years ago. See, no, forget it. I'm afraid to ask. What is it? It feels like it feels like you're going far away. You're really you really really are you, right? That's an odd question to ask somebody. Like you're really you. He didn't even answer, but that that is a weird question to ask somebody. Cosmo Canyon. This is where Avalanche was born. I promised my guys someday that when we saved the planet from Shinra, that we'd all go to Cosmo Canyon and celebrate. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. Sad, man. They're all dead. Now they're all gone. Died for the planet. Really, to save the planet. We all hate Shinra. But is it right to go on? Will they, will they ever forgive me? Barrett's got a lot of guilt right now, ever since we went to Coral and reliving everything that happened there. He's blaming himself for stuff. He's blaming himself for their death. Right now, I really don't know, but I do know one thing. If there's anything I can do to save the planet or the people living on it, then I'm going to do it. I don't care if it's for justice or revenge or whatever. I don't care. I'm going to do it! So that's good. He's, he's realizing... There's no point in blaming yourself for the self-guilt. There's still a mission to be done for the greater good. Again, Avalanche is born again. What a boring place, just like I thought. I want to go somewhere. Let's go find some materia. She's such a child. Oops. She's like 16-ish. wonder how many years it's been. Gosh, it brings back memories. So Kate Sith has been here before. I learned a lot. The elders taught me many things. A 
about the Cetra and the Promised Land. I'm alone. I'm all alone now. But I'm we're here for you, right? I know, but I am the only Cetra. Yeah. Yeah, there is shades of gray to Barrett, but I think he really is a good guy in his heart, you know? The shades of gray come from doing things that aren't proper. But he doesn't have any bad intent behind him, you know? That's what makes him really interesting. Does that mean we can't help? So Aerith is, you know, realizing she's the only one of her race left. She's the only Cetra left. That's got to be tough, you would think. Long ago, when I was still very small, we were all around this flame. No, never mind. What happened? It's about my parents. When I talk about my mother, I am full of pride and joy. And that's fine. But when I think of my father, my heart is full of anger. You really can't forgive your father? Alright, here we go. Let's see what Bugenhagen knows. Because Red 13 said that his father was a coward. And then Bugenhagen says, really? He's been thinking that all these years? So, uh, let, let, let's see what information he has about Red 13's father. Of course, he left mother for dead. So Red 13 thinks his mother's dead because his father left her for that. When the Gi tribe attacked... He ran off by himself, leaving Mother and the people of the canyon. So there was a Gi tribe, another race, they attacked, and he says his dad fled and let them, let them all get slaughtered. They're all like that, you know? I think that's what makes this game, like, so good, is all the characters have their either, they have their flaws, or they got, you know, dark backstories that they're trying to overcome, they got reasons to fight for. I mean, like, like go, go around here. Cloud, we don't really know yet. We're going to learn a lot about Cloud coming up. But we do know that his mother died, right? That's what we uh, in Sephiroth killed her. We know that part of it. Tifa, Sephiroth slaughtered her father. She seems like she's not saying something, like she's keeping a secret. We're learning about Red 13 right now. With his parents dead, he blames his father for it, says he was a coward. We're going to learn more about that. Kate Sith, we really don't know anything about right now. We will get information, his backstory coming up. Barrett, we just went through everything with him. Um, Aerith is the last of her race. It, like, being held in a lab, like, as, as a experiment, as a lab rat. Escapes with her mother. Her mother dies. She gets raised by another woman. They capture her again. I mean, the, the, the things that these characters go through... Uh, Yuffie, we don't really know much about her yet. She just seems like a, a bratty little kid that likes to steal materia. And uh, there's two other characters that will be in our party we haven't met yet. So, And they got good stories as well. It's just, yeah, it, that's it. The storytelling and character and development is amazing. Totally agree. All right, so let's figure out what's going on with Red 13's father and uh, what Bugenhagen knows that Red doesn't. The place may be dangerous, Cloud, will you and one other person come with us? Okay, this is what I was thinking about. So I just changed all that shit for nothing. I knew Red had to come. <sighs> you gotta change all that shit again. I was just... Why can't I change his equipment? Oh, because I sold it all. That's why. I gotta get him a new thing he's wearing. Uh, armor. Alright, so I took Tifa out. So. Hear that fire crackling? Put that back on Cloud, and then... Uh, what's Barrett got here? The elemental... Can I use this on anybody right now? No, but uh, might as well level it up. He needs a new um, armor. How much? 
How much money do I got? I got enough. Okay. Make sure that I indeed... Okay. Oh, I gotta put Cloud in the back row. Um... So I put him in the back row because he's got the long range materia. Which will do full damage from the back row while taking less damage as um, being in the back row. Yeah, if it could play out like the game does, that'd be a good TV show. We have to have a high ass budget. I'm not gonna get Kate Sith's, we Sith's weapon. I will get Red's because we're using him right now and we have to. Um, and I'm a, I don't have enough money for Eris anyway. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, with all the sets and locations and... I mean, Midgar alone, the amount of uh, money to build that place. And then, all, I mean, think about this place and, and everywhere that we've been. And everywhere that we will go. Costa del Sol, you know, Junon, holy shit. Like, the, the, the amount of money to make this show, they're probably the, the biggest uh, budget of all time. I have the fire ring on cloud. Let me make sure, but I'm pretty sure I do. But I'm going to elixir him. Yeah, got the fire ring. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is the boss you can one shot with an elixir. We're going to try it. I, I think this is the one. I can't remember his name, but the one. Um... Yeah, but you know what? Honestly, the remake does that. The remake does that great. At least for Midgar. We'll be getting a lot of this now in Rebirth. All right, so here we go. Boot here. Red 13 said, Grandpa, lead the way. Buganagan says, what are you crazy? It's dangerous in there. I told you that. You want an old man like me to go first? I'll be right behind you. He went into us. He's with the party. He's not going to fight or anything. So we are in the cave, the sealed cave. This is with a door that he had sealed. Doesn't a phoenix down just damage it though? I I think I think the elixir one shots him. This is deep, deep into the earth. All right. So, Cave of the Gi. I think it's pronounced Gi. Could be G. Probably not G-I because it would be a capital I. I'm going with Gi until Rebirth tells us if it's different or not. Yeah, Bugenhagen should be great in Rebirth. Now that he can talk and stuff. Yeah, I know. I I I know an elixir one shots one of the bosses in the game, and I'm pretty sure it's uh, this one. Okay, I learned death sentence. Now I know. Can't you put that on Tifa and really? There's there's one weapon she gets where if you death sentence Tifa, like she does insane damage. They, to get that, do they, do you have to be, no, it would kill you. Do you have to be a multiple of five? Wouldn't that kill you? Or does it just automatically work? Wow, our health just got low. Uh, who's got the cure? 
who's got cure? Yeah, there's one one weapon she has where if um if you uh, hit her with the death sentence, she does way more damage. And I think you put death blow on her too. I can't remember. It's the speedrunners use it. I've seen them do it all the time, but I can't remember what it is. Um. Okay, clouds a little low. We can heal. Now, two of these is uh, enemies, which is fine. We, we need to get some XP. Can I cure these guys to hurt them? Let's, let's find out. Yeah, but do you have to be a, a multiple of five to learn this skill? Because these are all ghosts. You can use cure and healing items to hurt ghosts. I'm going to use Cloud's thing, his ne the next fight, because I'm, I'm just not using him by saving it. I don't really need to save it. But yeah, I know, like, the, the L5 and the L4, but I, don't, I can't remember if you have to um, be that level also to learn the skill. I don't remember. Did it did I freeze up or lag or anything at any point? Was it bad? Smoke bomb. I don't remember what the smoke bomb does. Oh, it allows you to escape. It's like Batman. So, the reason why we're going through this cave is apparently to get the real truth about Red 13's uh, father. Okay, so that was what we needed to hit. That opened that door. Um, I don't remember what else is in here. There's a materia up there. I can't remember if I can get that now or... Why did that heal them? They're not ghosts. God damn it. Why did I think it worked for all the enemies here? This just gotta be the specters then.
Well, we are getting some uh, leveling up here a little bit. What was that? This is a mistake. Nothing you can do with it. Okay. I thought I could go up there. I guess I can't. All right, we're going here. Oh, that's right. We come back and come down to get up there. Everyone here is a ghost of the Gi tribe, killed in a certain battle. Well, not really, because the ones we just fought weren't ghosts. A certain battle? The vengeful spirits of the Gi didn't disappear, and they couldn't return to the live, sc live stream. We still have far to go. So these are, I guess, are the ghosts of all the enemies that attacked Cosmo Canyon. Glad I went back. Oh, I actually didn't have to go back to get that. I ended up getting that, just getting that in a different place. In the prison. Alright. Um... Okay, you have to slow walk over this stuff or you go sliding into something and get damaged. got decent amount of uh, decent amount of HP because I hit a critical and it still took two more attacks it's alright use death sentence because it doesn't hurt me and I'll kill you before it runs out Yuffie's Yuffie's animation <laughs> Alright, restore leveled up, that's nice. Yeah, if you run on this, you will go flying through this and get into spikes or something, I remember. Um, so we'll go back down here, there's a materia. Added effect. This is... I don't remember what this one does. It's not the same as elemental, but it doesn't work with everything. I don't remember what added effect works with. Anybody remember added effect? I know it's not like um, it doesn't work with fire and ice and all that stuff. It works with a different set of materia, but I can't remember what. That was a dead end. This is good music. Skull almost look like an alien, like an alien head. So death sentence, if anybody doesn't know, when if that timer runs out and the fight's still going on, uh, Cloud will die. <laughs> Actually, almost whoa, almost falls over.
Okay, that's for Kate Sith. So we got two new weapons for him, I think, that I have not equipped yet. But yeah, if anybody remembers what added effect does, please, uh, please let me know. Red must be wearing a star pendant because he didn't get poisoned. Alright, we are definitely getting some good experience points. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a ton. Do you happen to remember what the uh, added effect materia connects with? Because I know it's different than, uh, than the um, elemental one. I can't believe that first guy's still alive. Did I already look up here? There's nothing there. Durr. Probably gonna have to ether her up in a, in a little bit. Oh, luckily, this is only eight compared to the fifty-something for the uh, um, big guard. Okay, so it does the same thing as elemental, but it works with different materia. So poison. Um, what else would it work with? Time? Let me see if I can put it with somebody. Who's got poison right now? Oh, perfect. And she's got an open slot right there. So that will, she'll attack with poison now, or I could put it, make her poison resistant. Um, what does she have for, I mean, she doesn't have a star pendant, and we are getting poisoned, so I'm gonna, sw I'm gonna switch those, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her poison resistant. Sweet, thank you. Um, Alright. Cool. I wonder what other material it works with, though, because I know it won't work with fire, ice, bolt. Those go with um, the elemental. Now we have to fight the spiders up here. As you can see, this cave leads to the back of Cosmo Canyon, even though the Gi outnumbered us. They could not attack through here because the passage is too narrow. Let's move on. I mean, this is character building. The whole point of this is we're going to learn Red 13's backstory. And they put so much detail into learning about each character. Which way gets me down there? This one? No, it's going to come right back out. This one? Nice.
Does it say that on here though, or do I have to like look in the instruction manual? Because it doesn't really give you that much information when you go into materia. I don't think. Elemental adds materia element. Added effect adds materia status. So yeah, I don't know. Is this a dead end? How do I get down here? Is it two? I think I have to go up and around. Alright, this one's a ghost. This one's definitely a ghost. Yeah, no, but I don't, like, how would I know that that works with elemental and not um, added effect? That's what I'm trying to figure out, which ones work with which ones and which ones don't. God. Pull up a character's materia menu, okay. This, this fight is taking too long. Unless I'm totally missing, like, where that information is. How do I get over there? There we go. Fairy ring. That's good, but I don't remember what it does. Poison and darkness. So, instead of just poison, oops, we'll use poison and darkness. Um, okay, we need to... Pop an ether there, pop an ether there, and a high potion there. Alright, I think we're good. I should have went up number four, too. I think this is the way to go, but... Um... That's the thing. How do I know it's a status effect? Because the magic effect ones, like, they're also yellow. Fire, lightning, bolt, they're not status effects. But they're also yellow. That's what I'm saying. How do you tell the difference without having to look it up on the internet? I don't know if it tells you in the game. That's what I'm trying to uh, find out. Because lightning is also yellow. But lightning is not a status effect. How would I know that without prior knowledge? Just from remembering it, looking it up before. And 
I don't know why I thought there was a chest up there. Okay. Um, let's go back to number four because there's a chest over there, but I don't remember what it is. Like here, this is what I mean. Um, see, a lightning's got lightning in the yellow. But lightning doesn't work with added effect. And poison does. Or they're both yellow. So how would I know that poison works with added effect, but that lightning doesn't? And lightning would work with elemental. That's... Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. Like, this is no way in the actual game that it tells you that. You just gotta know somehow. Is it in the instruction manual? I don't know. Grease lightning. Diamond dust with sheep. Lightning would only pair with elemental or all. Um, God, I don't even remember using contain materia. Yeah, that that's what I'm confused about is the game not tell you that. Uh, like, is it hidden somewhere in there? Uh that like earth like well, how do I know if earth I would uh, if earth is elemental or status effect effect like how would I know that in the game I don't think I that's the information I can't find it's like it doesn't say what if it's elemental or or magic like if it does I can't find it yeah, she got two limits in the same fight. She was getting crushed. Is that gonna kill it? Yeah. We got one more spider to fight. Ah, nice. That was worth it. I like this creepy music. Let's try Aqua Lung. I know that's gonna use a lot of, uh... Damn! Damn! Yeah, I'm wondering if the manual does. I, I'm gonna have to pull out the manual. Aqualung freaking I was like 60. Uh, 60 MP or something. It did a thousand damage. Yeah. That was quick. I'll just use it. I think I have to use Blade Beam a bunch of times to get the next one. And then I think it's kills after that.
Yep, we already got already. Klim Hazard. Turbo Ether, nice. Alright, is this the boss fight? Uh, if so, I think this I can one-shot this. This warrior went through the cave all alone. So some warrior fought all through these and, and I guess killed all these geese. And uh, now they're ghosts because they all died to this warrior. Fighting attackers one after another. Grandpa, that warrior. We're almost there. Gee, I wonder who it's going to be. But I still think this is... Oh, wow. I got hit right there at the exit. I still think this is good storytelling. That is correct. We got a lot of EXP in this dungeon. Alright. I, I swear I can one-shot the boss, but uh, just double-checking some stuff. We should be good. I want to make sure I didn't... Yuffie's got a lot of kills, but I don't think her limit leveled up yet. I'm just making sure. So I think she's only got one at each level. What is this? Grandpa, is he? After death, the ghosts of the Gi. Like stagnant air. This can't be. Oh, that was like a poem. All right, let's see if this if I was correct. Item. Elixir. The Gnatic. Death. Boom. Nuts, man. That's a. That was not like an easy boss. But Elixir, because he's a ghost, instant death. I'm glad I was right that it was this one. I did not know that at all, that he was going to be Shrek. And it looks like we got another weapon for Aerith. Thank you, Cloud. Because of you, we survived. Thank the elixir. I didn't do anything. Whoop, whoop. Nanaki, you have grown strong too. Oh, yeah? Now I know that it wasn't a mistake bringing you here. Come, I have something I want to show you right over here. If you guys uh, get emotional, um, I suggest getting a tissue for this upcoming scene. Gravity materia. I don't remember what gravity does. Let's take a look at it. Demi. Okay, that's um, that's kind of that's the earth. That's the earth magic in this game, right? Like Titan. Say like gravity's the earth, like same thing. And it's real? I've never heard this. Okay, here we go. This is emotional. This is The Warrior Who Fought Against the Gi. So he's talking about that killed all them ghosts. Came all through here by himself. He kept them from taking even one step into Cosmo Canyon. So he protected everybody. But he was nev never able to return to town. So this hero also sacrificed himself. Look, Nanaki. Look at your father. At the warrior, Seto. His father was not a coward. His father sacrificed himself and killed all the warriors and so they could not get into Cosmo Canyon and kill everybody. That's the opposite of a coward. That's Seto. Seto continued to fight the Gi tribe here to protect this canyon. 
Even after the Gi's poisonous arrows turned his body to stone. Even after they all ran away, Seto continued to protect us. That's his dad, man. That's sad. Ah. And he continues to protect us even now. Even now. This story, man, is deep. You thought that he was a coward and ran away, but he alone risked his life to protect Cosmo Canyon. That is your father, Seto. That is Seto? Did mother know? She knew. The two of them made me promise to keep this cave shut. They asked me to seal it myself and not to tell a soul. They said we should forget about this cave. Cloud, would you mind leaving the two of us alone? Until Yuffie looks up at him. Uh, dude, no doubt. This is amazing. Especially for a PlayStation 1 game. Nanaki, I want you to continue your journey with Cloud and the others. Grandpa? Listen, Nanaki. Cloud says they are trying to save the planet. Honestly, I don't think it can be done. For even if they stop every reactor on the planet, it's only going to postpone the inevitable. Even if they stop Sephiroth, everything will perish. I mean, eventually he's talking about eventually, yeah. But Nanaki, I've been thinking lately. I've been thinking if there was anything we could do. As a part of the planet, something to help a planet already in misery. No matter what happens, isn't it important to try? Am I just wishing against fate? I'm too old to do anything about it. This year I'll be 130. That is why, Nanaki, you must go with them. For my sake. Grandpa. It, it is, dude. I wanted to show you your real father before you left. I'm so glad that you came back while I was still alive to show you. Grandpa, don't talk like that. I don't want to think of life without you. Well, I've had a long life. Grandpa, you must live. I'll see to it. I'll see to what's happening to the planet, and I'll come back to tell you. Nanaki. I am Nanaki of Cosmo Canyon, the son of the warrior Seto. I'll come back a warrior true to that noble name. So please, Grandpa. That's Seto's... Father? He howls at his dad. His dad is crying through stone, being turned to stone. Come on, man. I'm fighting right now to not tear up. This shit is powerful, man. I love it. When you can make your characters mean this much in a game... That's why people want to play games over and over. Obviously, they want to play fun games over and over. They love the gameplay. You know, what, what, whatever type of games. You have fun playing it. But there's certain special games like this. Where you care about these little tiny chibi figures. And what happens to them and their backstories. And you want them to be happy. Like, that. that is powerful to me. That is magic. And the fact that they put so much like love into this game that a lot of these people are the ones working on the remake in Rebirth. Same writer Nojima who wrote the scenario for this is writing re wrote remake is writing Rebirth Nomura there's so many guys and, and the other the new people working on it we're fans of this growing up there's so much love into the, the remake and Rebirth and it all comes from this Playstation 1 game yeah it's crazy man it's amazing Shall we get going? So this is it, Red 13. So they still think, you know, Red said I'm coming back to this town. That's it. That's my journey. My mission is to protect Cosmo Canyon. So they don't know that his grandpa told them, you're still going. I want you to go. I want you to try to do everything you can to save the planet. 
So they think they're going on without him. That's just the way it goes. You came in handy at times. Alright, let's go back to the OGs for now. Tifa and Barrett. Make sure everybody's equipped right. Um, yeah, I know I already did her. He can wear that. Um, yeah. It's a heavy Vulcan was... It was long range. I looked at it. Okay. Um, Alright, Red 13's not here right now, so I gotta wait for him to come back in to get his um, materia. So, Yuffie will go to Tifa. Um, well, Tifa needs long range, so switch that with Cloud and we'll put... So, she's got the... Okay. So, I want Reds to go to Barret. And Cloud needs to go in the front row. Yeah, who was saying earlier that this game has the best story? It might have been you, Tia, of all the Final Fantasies. And that That's why, because the characters mean so much. And they do in a lot of other ones, but I think just, there's just something, something special about this one. Alright, so we think we're leaving without red. See you, Cosmo Canyon. Wait for me, I'm coming too. Cloud, please look after Nanaki. What happened? I think I grew up a little. That's what happened. Man, what a freaking line. He could have said, Oh, I found out my father wasn't a coward. Like, that's what you would think. Obviously, that could be something he said. That's what happened. But I think I grew up a little. That's what happened. Well, dude, that's such good writing. I love it. Is he there now that I can um, put his material on Barrett? All right, we're going to go with the OGs for a little while because we are going to Cloud and Tifa's hometown of Nibelheim next that we saw burned down in the flashback. And Sephiroth murdered all the townspeople. What is going to be waiting for us at Nibelheim? Yeah, there's so, so much to go, man. So much to go in this game. I don't remember how we know we're supposed to go there, though. Like, we didn't get, like... I wonder if I would go back into Cosmo Canyon and talk to somebody. Let's try that. Because I'm just curious. I know I'm supposed to go there because I remember that's where you go next. But does somebody here say, well, Sephiroth was headed that way? Who's this random guy over here? I think the teaching of the planet of the people... No. About this guy by the fire. So yeah, I don't know... Because you know how other parts of the game where talk to somebody, they give us a destination in blue. But... Nothing here. So, I don't know how we would know to go to Nibelheim next. I mean, I guess it's the only place we haven't been when you look at the map that you places you can get to, but still. You would think there'd be some way to know that that's where we're going.
Alright, I'm back. So now, story doesn't let up. Well, this town doesn't look burnt down. It looks exactly like it did in the flashback. So if Sethroth, Sephiroth, after he burned this town down, they built it back exactly the way it was. That's kind of weird. Tifa's confused. This was all burnt down, wasn't it? Well, you were there. Two of you were there. I thought so. Then why my house is still here too? What the hell's going on? This a dream or something? I'm not lying. Well, okay. I guess Tifa technically would not remember the fire. Right? Vert to Ferk? Is that like WTF? Because Tifa got... Uh... M you know, mangled by Sephiroth and she was probably out cold. So she probably does not remember the fire. She was probably unconscious. So nobody can really back up Cloud's story right now. Cause nobody else that was there that night is here to to say, yeah, there this place burned down. But it's very odd. There's the water tower, right? That they were there when they were kids. All the houses are still there. Tifa just said, my house is still here. How is it burned down? So something um, doesn't doesn't make sense. Something fishy is uh, going down. Oh, from the Muppets. <laughs> Vert to Ferk. <laughs> but there's a dog here. And the first thing we do is go to talk to the dog. Oh, wind. I wish I had a, t a treat. All right. So let's check out all the houses. This is the hotel. Thank you for your support. Tim? Is that you? It's gotta be. Tiger Life? You, the master of unlocking. Yeah, that... If, if she did wake up, she would have seen it, right? But, um... I, I, I'm guessing she must have been unconscious when uh, Zangin got her out of here. What's your story? So this is where it's going to get weird. This town was supposed to have burnt down five years ago. What the hell's going on? Look at the guy looking around. Sir, don't say such awful things. I was born and raised in this town. What you say never happened. Jill? Grab the rope! I, I don't I don't know why I just remember Colby laughing really hard at that line in the basement. I was born and raised in this town. What you say never happened. So, uh, what? We saw it burn down. Cloud remembers it in the flashback, burning down. His mother died in the fire, and now this guy's like, "What are you talking about? This town never burned down." You're lying. So Tifa believes it, even though she didn't see it. Excuse me, that's so rude. If you're going to talk like that, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Something's not right. Oh, there we go. That's a guy in a black cloak. It's hard to see. It kind of blends in. Man in a black cape. He has a tattoo number six. So there's another guy with a tattoo. We got a luck source. Must go to reunion. Oh, this looks exactly like the hotel room we were in in the flashback, doesn't it? Yeah, there's something funky with that painting in uh, another game, in the prequel game. Alright, let's investigate more. What's this person have to say? Nothing. They're just selling stuff. Anybody else in here? What about you? Nice town, huh? We've been in business here for a long time. You're lying. 
Do you do you have anything to do with this town? Well, how about being born, born and raised here? I was here until I was 14, and I don't remember you. It's not nice to lie. Something ain't right. This is like a creepy town, or Cloud has false memories of a fire. It's one or the other. Here's another guy in a black cloak with a t numbered tattoo on him. We got an elixir. Can you hear the voice of Sephiroth? Alright, so one guy says he, he needs to go to the reunion, and another one says the voice of Sef Sef Sephiroth. So, what is this all about? Moving on. This was Cloud's house. Remember him laying on this bed and his mom talking to him to go find an old wo older woman? I want to hear your story. I lived in this house till I was 14. So that means Cloud's 19, not 21. I did the math wrong. Or did I? No, but this town was burned down. You're sick saying such things. Get out of here. Imagine barging into somebody's house. I used to live here. This town burned down. Oh, here's another. This is Tifa's house. Where it was. Must get it and bring to Sephiroth. Then become one with Sephiroth. This guy's number five. Alright, so obviously all these weirdos... With tattoos of numbers on their arms, just waddling around in black capes, have something to do with Sephiroth. Here's another one. Number 11. Turbo Ether. Must go. Reunion. Can I not talk to this one? Tattoo number four. Platinum Fist. I wonder if that's the um, weapon that you can put with the Death Blow. Or if not, nah, probably not because it's a double AP one. Or with the Death Sentence, I mean. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Can we... Get her underwear again? No. We play the piano again? Not this time. Oh, we can. Alright, let's try to play the song again. I remembered it. First try. Oh, I was trying to end. I got it first try. But nothing's gonna happen till later. Let's come back here another time to play that song and I'll get something. What's in here? I don't remember this place. Going upstairs. What is th this? Always confused me. Like. Is this person extremely giant, or is this person extremely small? Why are they, like, two different sizes here? Maybe we'll get the answer. Reunion. Reunion. No? They said the same thing. I don't understand why one one is so tiny and one is uh, large. I mean, that's kind of weird, no? Alright, well, we're not getting information here. Let's go north. Oh god, these guys are everywhere. He's calling, Sephiroth is calling. So they're all looking for Sephiroth or something. And they need to go to some reunion and bring something to Sephiroth. The great Sephiroth is near. Inside the mansion, the great Sephiroth. So remember, this mansion in the flashback was where Sephiroth went down into the dungeon underneath the mansion and read all those books and learned about uh, Genova and the backstory. All right, now, the safe is a pain in the ass. 
Am I going to cheat and look it up, or am I going to try to figure it out? I don't want to write all this stuff down. I must get rid of those that stand in the way of my research, even that one from the Turks. I scientifically altered him and put him to sleep in the basement. If you want to find him, search the area. But this is merely a game I thought of. It is not necessary for you to participate if you don't want to. There seems to be another letter. Let's read it. Okay, so this is the safe combination. Move the dial in the safe carefully but quickly. That's the hard part. You have a time limit. You have 20 seconds. You cannot go past the numbers while turning. The four hints for the numbers are... Well, there's only three hints. All right. The lid of the box with the most oxygen. I hate how you have to read this all over again to get to the next hint. Behind the ivory, short of T and Ray. So that's the piano. I remember that. I think the first one was the plants. Plants, piano... I remember where that is, the creek in the floor, two left, five up, nine, two. I just kind of run around till I find it. And then the fourth one is hidden in here. Look at that. How cool is that? Hidden selection. Right 97. I got to write this down. I'm going to try to figure it out. The combination is the same every time. But the last one is right 97. All right. The reason why we need this combination is to get another optional character for our party. So here's the piano. This was the second one. Um, it's over here. Yeah, there we go. Left 10. That was the second one. Left 10. Okay. Um, oh, these guys, they confuse you. Uh, let's try to take them out quickly. Oh, wow. I, mu I wonder if I got... Or did it just miss? Nah, it just missed because Cloud got hit that time. That's the annoying part about this mansion is all the status effects. Look, so Cloud's attacking himself. Did they get uh, auto... Auto... Uh, filter or whatever <laughs> stupid auto mod yeah I haven't really messed with that I don't even know what it blocks so we got this is like the third weapon for Kate Sith we've got since we've last used them I haven't even changed used any of the other two yeah, so Tia, something you typed got auto-flagged and didn't get uh, approved in time. Twin Viper, that's for Vincent, I think. No, Yuffie, okay. There's a lot of weapons in this game. Alright, so we still need... The first and the third numbers. <laughs> the word fucks. And this one is around here somewhere. I think. Well, I hope they didn't get charged for that. I didn't get it. Look at this guy. Swinging on an anchor. I like how you knock him off the anchor and he just kind of lays there on the floor. 
Oh, you couldn't climb back up. That is your... Huh? I'm so confused. Oh. It's up here somewhere. There it is. Okay, the third number is right 59, so we just need the first number. So the, how you were supposed to find that is you start from a one spot, and it told you how many steps to take and which way to turn. I just remembered that that's where it was. Okay, that's right. But it didn't go through. I hate these things, man. Dorky face. They're called Dorky face. Look at that. They're both Tifa and Barrett are confused. They're beating each other up. Oh, that was the badge name. Okay. Alright, that's good. I got you. I got you. Alright, I was confused. That's good then. Then nobody lost any uh, bits. Okay. I think this is the other numbers in here. Enemy launcher. Is that Barrett? Yes. But not as good. Unless it's got some hidden thing. All right, there we go. We got the combination. Now, the problem is this controller is, like, the controls are so finicky, and you have a time frame to put this in. <laughs> that almost scared me. <laughs> and I have to do this quick. Right 36, left 10. And you can't go past it. Right 59, right 97. Holy shit, I got a first try. I've never gotten that first try. I deserve some luck after uh, all the screw ups I've been doing. Is this a cactuar? Nope. Lost number. I, I know half of him is physical and half of him is magic, and I don't remember which is which. Oh god, Cloud's almost dead. Who's got the heal? Perfect! Perfect! Oh good. Tifa died. I lost the I lost the limit break. God damn. Well, let's cure first. And then, um... Life. Tifa. Thank you. That's It's annoying to open that safe. I can't believe I got it first try. This is not going well. She's dead again, and I just, and then I waste the cure that was for her. <sighs> Not going well. Well, thank you. I wouldn't say that yet. We don't know what's going to happen here. Where's the freaking aqua line? Screw it. I should have used... Since this is kind of like a mini boss, I should have used the, um... Uh, big guard. First time using this one. I love that. Stabs in him. Boom, carries it all the way up. I hope so. 
I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the the guard now. I, I don't want to take a chance. And over here, too. Yeah, too. Oh, he missed. Why did he get to go twice? Well, you've also seen me play enough to know that uh, I can do some big screw-ups. Okay, I'll remember. You told me so. That only did 300? That was a waste. He m must be, um... Ice resistant or something. I'm pretty sure this is the guy where half of his body disappears and it becomes full of the other half. I, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if I'm underpowered or what. What's funny? I see. I'm, I'm already. I'm already misremembering. That's the only thing from this guy. How is what possible? And this guy's got a lot of HP. Yeah. What do you mean, how is that possible? I die a lot. Oh, it's funny when I die. Okay. So how is... Okay, see, I knew it. Alright, so I think this guy, now magic will hurt him. I think he's physical attacker. Um, oh, how is that possible? Yeah, he just did it. So, one half was magic. Oh, shit. One half was magic half, and the other half was physical half. And where is my... In his uh, magic half... I think I did enough magic... Um, that it killed the magic half. I, I don't know. I'm so freaking confused. How does he keep killing Cloud? <laughs> I don't know. I'm so lost right now. I hope I got this right. He's killing everybody, man. I don't think the limit's gonna do anything because he's like physical resistant right now. Uh, oh no, I did a physical attack. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, oh god, I'm panicking. Um, screw it. Balls to the wall. Oh my god, thank god. I took a chance that he was low. <sighs> Cloud Tifa don't get any EXP, Barrett gets it all. Cosmo Memory. Now that is Red 13's final limit break, and we are a long way from being able to use that. Alright, key to the basement. This is how we get Vincent, which will be our eighth party member. And we got Odin. Alright. We're gonna use a Phoenix down on Cloud, and now that he has the life magic, we'll use that on Tifa. You did tell me. You did tell me. I got lucky, I think. I'm low on items. All right. Um, I'm going to take Shifa, Shifa, geez, Shiva out for Odin. Because I think Odin's the next. Yeah, because he takes way 5% off instead of the 2%. So. Is Odin, like, Bahamut, non-elemental? I don't remember. We'll see. <laughs> this always happens. I got lucky. Were, were you here earlier when I was in the prison and the same thing happened and I almost died and got lucky? Well, 
Well, I do listen to you. I think you have extra faith in me. All right, so that whole safe thing there, we got a extra limit break, we got a materia, and we got a key to the basement. The key to the basement's the biggest part. All right. Uh... Yeep! It's my style. It's not look, it's my style. Oh my god. Wow, he does... When he actually hits, he does some decent damage when he's not falling and flopping around on the floor. Yep, yep. Why didn't I make that a sound thing? I gotta remember that. I don't even remember where I yelled that, though. That's true. That's a good point. The long and winding road. Is this the only place where this music plays? I don't remember. All right, we're gonna use the key to the basement. Oh, that was the timestamp was me screaming. That's right, because it didn't clip right. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, see how my memory works. Why did Tifa miss? Alright, so this is where we use the key. Um, right here. Or we, I guess we just went in the door that the key already worked. Because we wouldn't have been able to get in that room without the key. All right, to wake me from the nightmare. Who is it? It's just some dude laying in a coffin. Don't worry about it. Oh, nice. I don't know you. You must leave. Let me go back to my sleep in my coffin. You were having a nightmare. How bad was your dream? <laughs> That's a personal question, isn't it? Not like, who are you? Why are you in a coffin? How bad was your dream? <laughs> a nightmare? My long sleep has given me time to atone. What are you saying? I have nothing to say to strangers. Get out! This mansion is the beginning of your nightmare. Sounds like Resident Evil. You can say that again. Do you know something? talk about Sephiroth. Like you said, this mansion is the beginning of a nightmare. Now, it's not a dream, it's for real. Sephiroth has lost his mind. He found the secrets hidden in this mansion. Sephiroth! That perked him up. It is Final Fantasy version of my Aster... Asterion? What's that? I don't know what that is. You know Sephiroth? We both said it to each other. This is cool. Oof, look at that. Floating. Look at that move. That That is an entrance. Whoosh. Hovering above his coffin. You start first. That's how it was. So I like that. Like, we already know the story. He's just going to tell him instead of going through it all. So Sephiroth knows he was created five years ago and about the Genova Project. What the, oh, I said it right. I still don't know what it is, though. 
He was missing, but has just recently reappeared. He has taken many lives and is seeking the promised land. Now it's your turn. Sorry, I cannot speak. Hmm, I'm disappointed. Hearing your stories is yet another sin for me. More nightmares shall come to me now than I previously had. Because we told them the story of Sephiroth, now please leave. Alright, can uh, how about I do that? <laughs> You're still here? Who are you? At least tell us your name. I was with Shinra Manufacturing and Administrative Research, also known as the Turks. Okay, so this guy used to work in the Turks. Like, Rude, and Reno, and Sung, and Elena. Oh, it's a, it's a Baldur's Gate 3 character, okay. That's why I don't know. Oh, why are we naming Vincent? Because he's going to be joining our party. And he's badass. Vincent! The Turks? Formerly of the Turks. I have no affiliation with Shinra now. And you? Cloud, formerly of Soldier. You were also with Shinra? Then do you know Lucrezia? Is that how you pronounce that? I've always pronounced it Lucrezia. Again, we will, uh... We will find out in, um... Rebirth, the correct pronunciation. I'm going with Lucrezia for now. Who? Lucrezia. The woman who gave birth to Sephiroth. Now, I want you to remember... Vincent is optional. The first time I ever played this game, I didn't even know he was in the game. I didn't even know he was here. How important is this sub subplot that you could play this entire game and miss? That there's a woman called Lucrezia that he's saying gave birth to Sephiroth. Well, how is that possible? I thought Genova was Sephiroth's mother. This whole thing you, you could miss. This, uh, the guy, Vincent, reminds you of him? And that was an amazing who. I love that. Oh, did I say who? Is that what you mean? <laughs> Gave birth? See? What did, what did I just say? Cloud, me and Cloud are on the same, same wavelength. Wasn't Genova Sephiroth's mother? That isn't completely wrong, but just a theory. See, this could have... You could skip this entire, all of this, if you never got the key and came in this room. Or, if you left after he said leave, I had to click on the coffin again. It was the what revived? <laughs> what? He was born from a beautiful lady. That lady was Lucrezia. I'm going to be a little upset if it's not pronounced Lucrezia. I'm going to have to retrain myself. She was an assistant to Professor Gast of the Genova Project. Beautiful Lucrezia. I remember Professor Gast was the one that Sephiroth was talking about earlier. What, about not knowing how to pronounce something? A human experiment? There was no way to cancel the experiment. I couldn't stop her. That was my sin. So he, here we again... This is like the third character punishing himself, right? Or at least in some type of self-guilt. Tifa, Barrett, now Vincent. Blaming himself for whatever happened to Lu Lucrezia. I let the one I loved, the one I respected most, face the worst. So, th <laughs> so the punishment was sleep? That's weird. I forgot to update the, I forgot to update the roadmap. So the punishment was sleep. That's weird. <laughs> it's like, alright, fine. What do you think about that? Is that weird? Is that weird? Huh? <laughs> I like how she says that and he's just like, fine. Screw you. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, let's do this again. Can we wake him up again? Oh, we got in a fight. Oh, a back attack. Yes, I think I agree. I think most people would blame themselves. And I think that's part of the, the stuff of this story is how they all overcome the blaming of themselves and learn to use that as fuel to 
go after Sephiroth and complete their mission and uh, try to save the world. Or something like that. <laughs> oh, it, is it weird? Really? You think it's weird, lady? Alright, see ya. <laughs> Going back to sleep. Bitch. <laughs> That's kind of like what it was. <laughs> oh, these bats aren't dead yet. I should have used Matro Magic again. <laughs> I've never, I don't remember that. Like, that. she's like, oh, sleep? Your punishment is sleep? That's weird. And flip. Just covers himself back up again. I don't remember that. What? How much HP do these idiots have? They're just freaking little bats. Oh, is that the original one? That's classic right there. What is going on with these bats? Dang. Was, it, was I reading the dialogue? Let me sleep. I wish you would have said, uh, how weird is that? Let me, let me have my weird, let me have my weird sleep. <laughs> Alright, so we have to leave, leave Vincent. Uh, yeah, we're the only ones that get it. <laughs> we're gonna leave Vincent alone for now, but we already named him, so that's a you know sign that he will be joining our party. So here's that lab that Sephiroth was reading all those books in. Oh, and he's here. Sephiroth. Being here brings back memories. Are you going to participate in the reunion? Bum, 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 bum. I don't even know what a reunion is. Genova will be at the reunion. Genova will join the reunion, becoming a calamity from the skies. Join me, Cloud. That's what he should have said. Yeah, that is hilarious. And we're still probably the only ones laughing at it. Genova, a calamity from the skies. You mean she wasn't an ancient? Okay. So, originally when Sephiroth was reading all these books years ago, he thought that Genova was an ancient, and so he had the blood of the ancients in him. We've been wondering this since we heard that story. Is Aerith really not the last ancient? Okay, well now we're finding out that she is the last ancient because Sephiroth is not an ancient because Genova wasn't. She was an alien that crashed here. I see. I don't think you have the right to participate. I will go north past Mount Nebel. See, there it is in blue, our next destination. If you wish to know, then follow. Reunion? Calamity from the skies? Boom. Ah, take that, bitch. I'm gonna fly away after I spin around. That was a neat trick. Like, why did he have to do, like, a 720 flip before he, like, before he flied away? Destruct materia. I don't remember what that is. That was really dram dramatic. D barrier. Okay, so that if they have barrier on, you can use that on them to remove their barrier. So that was really dramatic of Seth Roth. Sephiroth. Boom! Throws that, hits us in the face with the materia, jumps up, <laughs> does a couple flips, and then flies off. Uh, he's very emo. All right, now there's some backstory hidden in these books here. Okay, where's where's number one? Let's read these in order. What's number two? Where's report number one? Number three? All right, we'll just start with number two. Yeah, that is the bitch in it. Now, if I could fly, yeah, of course I would. All right, escapee report number two. Description at the time of capture. So this, this is reports on two people that were captured. A former member of Soldier... No effect could be detected from either Mako radiation therapy or Genova on him. 
and the second prisoner had reaction to Genova detected. So it seems like there was two um, people held here, experimented on with Mako theory and uh, Mako radiation in, in Genova, and one of them it didn't affect, and one of them it did. Okay. A, they shot. Because he resisted the Genova. Prisoner A, they shot, killed for resisting the Genova therapy. And B, second one, escaped while A was resist. Oh, not for resisting the therapy, for resisting, I don't know, resisted. Like, tried to escape. And then B did escape because of them fighting with A, I guess, is what that is saying. I gotta go all the way around. Is there anything else? Okay, B's whereabouts are currently unknown, so the second person, they don't know where they are. But pursuit is unnecessary due to his diminishing consciousness, awaiting further instructions. So the second one that had effects from the Genova and Mako injections or whatever is uh, having problems, losing consciousness. First one's dead. My allergies are acting up. All right, so Sephiroth told us to go north past Mount, Mount Nibble, Nebel. I think it's Mount Nebel because it's Nibelheim. Uh, he's just going to come. Wait! Look at this. These guys are dramatic with their uh, tumbling. I'll go with you. Will I, if I go with you, will I meet Hojo? Remember, Hojo was who held... Aerith captive and Red 13 captive, that crazy scientist guy that was going to try to ma force Aerith to mate with Red 13. Dunno. But we're after him in Sephiroth, so I guess sooner or later. Lucretia! <laughs> He's just going to come. Alright, I've decided to go with you. I did my pose. What? You're coming with us? Being a former Turk, I may be of help. Alright then. Okay. Let's put Vincent in the party so I can show him off a little bit. And we're going to give him death blow, and I'll show you why. Depending on what weapons we got. Well, he's already at level 26. Um... Not, we're not going to give it to him yet. I need to get the Sniper CR, which I think I will get soon. Oops. All right, he's already got... There, we'll give him that. And he's got a long-range weapon, so he's going to go in the back row. And let's give him the materia that Barrett had. Um, so we are now up to eight characters that we can use. And only three of them are active at a time. And one of them you can't change. Cloud has to be in the party. So we can only change the other two with seven to choose from. So that's a lot. So we're going to let Vincent play for a while and move him to the back row. He's got a long-range weapon. You heard me? Okay. I think the I think I'm way ahead of this stream. The, like, I think it's really delayed. So we're up to eight party members now. One left to go. Alright. wonder if that will do anything. I don't, I don't think it's just you that was behind. I, I think everybody has been, because I was noticing that earlier. People were saying stuff that I felt like I did like 30 seconds ago. And Jack wasn't in here. Sounds like a, the Wild West. So, see how Tifa's got the, the, the cloud bubbles over her? 
That means she can't use magic. She's like silent. I think it's silenced. Uh, it's grayed out. Cannot use any magic when she's that way. It's a status effect. Uh, what are the enemies? They're like, they look like bats, but I, I don't know. I think they're bat type enemies. Get bitch slapped with the gun shooting like, pachow. Da, da, da. Boom, 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 boom. Dorky faces. That's the name of this enemy, if I didn't already say. Oh, these things? Look like lollipops? Are, are these the ones you're talking about? Yeah, they're called dorky faces. They got, I don't know, like pumpkin heads or some shit. I can see that. They also look like pumpkins wearing a dress. Yeah. And Vincent just shot himself. He was confused. Did you see that? He turned to the side and shot himself. Well, they give a decent amount of experience. That's that's so you know the status effect. They were confused. Um, they put confuse on him, and so he's gonna. I can't control him at that point. He's gonna go crazy and just attack himself or uh, <laughs> or one of uh, the party members. All right, let's go. To the hotel. I think we can still stay here. So we don't know what's going on with this town still. Cloud remembers it burning down. And all these people in the town say this town never burned down. What the hell are you talking about? I'm going to go outside and save. We've done a lot. So you can save on the overworld. Overworld? Save at overworld at any time. You can save on the overworld at any time, but once you're in a town, you have to find a save point. Great Sephiroth left us over mountains. Gone. Time slip. I don't remember already. I, I don't know what you're referencing. Refresh my memory. First you refresh the stream. Now you must refresh my memory. That's why we're the only ones in here. If anybody else is in here, they're just like, what a freaking bunch of idiots. <laughs> ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. It's the best song. Alright. Local wildlife. God. Get off of me, man. 120. It's a reference to you and your nerdiness. Okay. I don't uh I don't get the reference. Or I don't understand the reference. Yeah, that's the best song. It's good in the re it's good in the remake too. I'm getting destroyed by these things. Cute All right, that's the enemy name. Qville Cuvilduns. Cuvilduns. I mean, they're like, let, they probably just threw darts at, like, a chart of the alphabet, and whatever letter they hit, they just made a name out of that, because I don't know what the hell that this word is. Oh, you're listening on your headphones? That's cool. I thought that was 
gonna kill. That move is called Lay Flat. I'm trying to save Cloud's Limit for more enemies. Or, beginning enemy, because it only attacks one enemy. So this is the area that Tifa, in the flashback, when she was their guide, took them through, took Cloud and Sephiroth through, when the bridge broke. Yeah, lay flat. It's almost like play dead or something. Yeah, I, I have no problem with us being children. Rune Blade, that's a Cloud weapon. Um, we've been using the Force Stealer for a while. And this is double also. Now, this is an upgrade in, in two ways. It's stronger, and it's got an extra slot. All right. That's good. But I don't think we got any other materia we want to... Um, we'll throw adds a vitality point. We'll just put it on there for that. Yeah, this is my favorite song in the game. It's called Under the Rotting Pizza. It originally plays in uh, in the slums in Sector 5. And Barrett calls the rotting pizza the, you know, the upper, the plate that separates the slums from the top. And since it's in eight slices, it's a pizza. So he called it Under the Rotting Pizza. The, the, he called it The Rotting Pizza. The song's called Under the Rotting Pizza. Because it plays in the slums. Originally. They reused it here. Interested to see if they'll reuse it here in Rebirth. I've already told that story. I don't remember what I've told. Or you already knew that. I've probably told the same things like four or five times already. But I like to repeat myself also on purpose if people come in that weren't here on previous streams. Oh, I don't remember that at all. I, 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 I hate my memory. You have an incredible memory. At least one of us does. I wonder if it was it when it was when uh, I was playing uh, remake, maybe. Yeah, but if we both had bad memories, that would be a disaster, I think. Wasn't this the bridge that fell in the flashback? Looks like they built a new one. That's a steep bridge. Five pipes that we could go down. There's a tough boss fight here, too. I don't know if I'm leveled enough. It was at the pizza place next to the game shop. Makes sense. Oh, my God. That spit me out right in front of the boss. Um, we're going to save. Because I don't want to fight it yet. I hope I can run around it. Yeah, and then you come out at this, seeing this thing. We gotta try to sn <laughs> sneak, sneak by this thing.
Lay flat. That's okay. That's the move. Somehow, when he it's vertical and chomping at our face, that's called lay flat. Yeah. Maybe if I just whistle and just try to sneak by it. Uh, don't mind me, sir. You go about your business. Hey, it worked. All right. Um, I don't think I can go back up. I think I have to go down and around now to get back up there and go through the other pipes. With the lay down. Oh my god, that was bright. Yeah, it's weird too, like that that boss is on the screen because all the other enemies aren't. You, they're just random encounters. You don't even see them. But that one you can see and you have to walk into it to fight it. So I was hoping it would let me walk by it. Now Cloud's going to die. I am not paying attention here. And he's dead. And Tifa got laid flat. Um any more Phoenix Downs. Jeez. Dude was gnawing the shit out of Vincent. I put that move in like five minutes ago. Rip, 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 Mr. Cloud. I have not used poison hardly at all. I gotta remember to use that on bigger enemies that take a while. Hopefully I'll remember to try it on this boss. Uh... I know, R.I.P. I, I was just, uh... Making it go faster? I don't know. Alright, so we need to go back up uh, and around to get back up there again. To go through the other tubes. There's nothing here? I thought I could go through here. What? Oh, you can steal something good from these dragons. Like a gold, uh, a gold uh, bangle or some shit. I don't want, let me see if I can manipulate it, because I don't want to kill it until I can steal. It's got something really good. Let's try the sense. Got it. Gold armlet. Boom. Okay. What's interesting? That's a good uh, armor. Um, God dang, Tifa. Beat Rush in the Somersault. Boom! God damn it. Tifa looks like she's like sunbathing or something the way she's laying there. Now watch, watch. Vincent's limit break. This is weird. You know they all do special moves? Uh, okay. Now he's like a werewolf. Like, Vincent, what the hell's the matter with you, dude? Ah, she's fine. She was sunbathing. Because I did the sense, it's showing me how, how much HP the guy has left. She's going to die again.
Oh, I forgot I have the fire ring on Cloud. So uh, he takes zero, da zero fire damage. I really need to heal her. Um, she's dead. Vincent just keeps attacking on his own because of that limit break still going. What the hell, man? Like, she's up, she's down. She's up, she's down. I'm gonna run out of magic here. Like, it's like a, a, a get her up, and then he hits her again, and she goes down again. She's like, just let me rest, man. Just let me stay here. Because he turned into the, uh, to the beast. Is he gonna die in a limit break here? 2.34 left. Clip time, what happened? What I, what I do? I don't remember. You just healed him with a limit break! Or was that his move? What is going on? How does his HP keep going up? Oh, because I healed him. This fight is taking way too long. This is just a regular enemy. That's not a boss. Be right back plus. Okay. That's a little little better than a, than a be right back because it's got the plus on it. All right. Good Lord. Um, they all got silver armlets. Who needs... Tifa probably needs the gold. Alright. Life. <clears throat> Voice is cracked. Good lord. I want to fight more of the dragons because I can steal more of those gold armlets. But good lord, that took a long time. Why is this... I guess it's a dead end. How do I get up there? That's what I've been trying to do. Go around that way. God, the, the, these twin brains and their bright attacks. God, that is bright. Just keep doing it. Just blind us all. What were you trying to clip? Write the time down. What? I'm so lost. I'll get it when I see it. Get this brightness. I don't want to fight any more of these enemies. Okay. I look forward to it. Yeah. Every time they use that stare down or whatever it is. Oh, 
Well, they're gone, so no more brightness for this fight. I must go forth through the through the brightness. Vincent even does like the old west like uh, gun twirl and then elixir. So that was worth struggling through to, through that cave. The drudgery of life. What's this? Elemental materia. Anybody use it? I'm kind of full here. We'll level it up, though. Uh, I don't know if it does. It. Does leveling up do anything to it? I'll just put it on so I have it. So I don't forget it. He got style. That is why I said they were like, oh, Vincent and um, Flim Flam. I forgot his name. We'll go with Flim Flam. What's this? What's this? <laughs> oh, good. We're going to get hit with more lay downs or lay flats. What just happened? What, what did I just do? I just used the wrong limit break, I think. I don't know what happened. Damn. Asterion, yeah. That, that's what I said. Quit biting my face. That was overly dramatic to miss. Okay. I will be here. I will try. I don't think I'm kicking too much ass. I'm struggling. I'm not as high level as I normally am at this part. There we go. Okay, this was the weapon I've been looking for for Vincent because attack percent is 255. What that means is the likelihood that your attack will hit. So 100% would be it hits all the time. So how the hell do you get 255%? Well, the reason why is death blow command. What death blow does it does a critical hit every single time, but it way lowers your accuracy. So if you put it on someone with 100 accuracy, they're probably going to miss. But if you put it on somebody with a 255 accuracy, he's going to hit just about every time with it. So that's why I wanted that gun. So now instead of attacking with Vincent, I will death blow with Vincent, and he'll do a critical hit every single time. If that makes sense. Way. I don't remember. This way? So no matter which way to go. So 
so like I use death blow now, it's going to do a critical hit and most likely hit because he's got 255% accuracy. Boom, 507, critical hit. Just a regular death blow attack because of that sniper rifle. Not that strong. Okay. Overreacted a little bit. Is this really a dead end? Alright. I guess I was going the right way. What is the point of that way? Why even have that there? Just to fool me? Oh no, the bright the stare down. It's gonna be bright. Yeah. What just happened? Where, where'd she go? She got stunned or whatever that status is. like he was humping his head. two for her now. Yes. So now she'll have three things that I have to hit on her limit break and she'll do three moves. get back I'm so confused right now I'm lost I don't think I'm supposed to be here maybe I am I but I remember I could get back in and go down all them pipes the five pipes Maybe um, I have to do this first. I'm not remembering correctly. But this is where Tifa's father died, right here. Sephiroth. And we've seen them, been here before in the flashback. This is where Genova was. See, there's nobody here. So, 
I, I hope I do because I thought this just took me right back into where that um, the other entrance where the tubes were. Now I don't even remember why I'm here. There's nothing to do here. Okay. I didn't die. Or are you saying I'm going to? Like you're foreshadowing. Yep, he's dead. He's screwed. There it is. Okay. I thought I could go around. I tried to go around the other way and I got stuck or something. Oh, okay. See, I was already, my brain was already way past that. Yeah, Sephiroth. That's what I'm saying. The stuff in the town had to happen because that all happened, right? She... So something fishy is going on. Like Sephiroth killed her dad, but then didn't set the town on fire? Then why did he kill her dad? Like, that wouldn't make sense either. So we are missing some information here. Okay. Sorry that you have to deal with a mess. Here we are. This is where I was trying to go. And we can kick this ladder down. So that way we can get back up this way without, have, without having to go all the way around again. All right, so we know number one goes to the boss. We're not taking number one. Okay, we'll get this. Power Soul. That's Tifa. That's a weapon. That might be... Power up when near death. This is the one. If you put death sentence on her, I think she's like super strong with this thing. I think. I'm gonna have to research that. I gotta make sure not to sell that. Hello, too close to the boss there. I really want to save, but I don't want to try to sneak by that thing. I will when I go to fight him. I'll see if I can make it through to save first. Because that would suck if I die and have to do all this crap again. Flats. Come on, get off me, man. I just want, I gotta go down number three now. I wanna check all these. There's, uh, there's items, I think, down all these other ones. One may be a dead end. Yeah, that one, that one didn't do anything to spit me out there. And then another one comes out there, too. I don't remember if it's four or five. Alright, let's try to steal again. Yes! First try! Awesome. Because this dude can wreck if we have to keep trying to steal over and over and over again. Where's Aquilon?
a critical hit every time because his accuracy was 255. So the death blow um, works a lot more uh, more frequently. It hardly misses with 255 accuracy compared to a regular weapon. See, there's her third one now. She's got three moves on that limit break. Please don't hit Tifa. So we got another gold armlet. Good steal. We will put that on. Let's see. 81 defense. 74. Uh, vitality 40. Alright, so it's going on Vincent. <clears throat> Those are the the best materials to level up and sell. All materials you can sell for a million four hundred thousand gil. Nothing else, I think, even comes close to selling for that much. So even if you don't need to use it, it's good to equip them. Um, just to level them up and sell them. So I'm gonna put it on the uh, double AP here, so it levels up faster. All right, I'm pretty sure number five fits out right here as well. Yeah, one, two, three, yeah. All right, so it's time to fight this boss, the Materia Keeper. Um, we gotta try to sneak by to save though. Saving that. See if we can sneak by to the save point or I'm kind of screwed. Our gill's getting up there, though. We got almost 45,000. All right, I'm not going to sneak by. I'm going down tube number one. That's the safer bet. Right. I was 
waiting to make sure Tifa didn't get killed because then I would have used the uh, life with Cloud. I'm leveling up pretty fast here. Vincent's already leveled up four levels since I just got him. So we're getting a lot of experience in this area. Okay, that's where I wanted to come out, so... Save. If we die, we'll just come back right here and try it again. But I think for me personally, level 30 is the lowest I've ever been at this point in the game. So this guy is the Materia Keeper. Right? Oh, I didn't have to touch him. I had to hit A. So I could have, I would have been alright sneaking, sneaking by. Um... Big guard on to get the defense up. What is that? What did that do? Oh, that's Odin. That's me. I did that. Okay. Odin looks kind of like a death monster in this, like a Frankenstein type face or something. I can't think of you know, like a mask or something. I wish it wouldn't automatically do that if they are fire beasts. Because he just healed him for 800 uh, HP, which I couldn't even control. Like, it did it on its own because of the limit break. That's bullshit. did it again this is bullshit like I can't stop him from doing that I'm sitting here healing this guy like I've healed him for what, 1600 or something? Looks like I'm, I'm starting back at the beginning of the fight. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have even done the limit break. What's our stuff at? I can't even see it.
Nice. I'm sure Vincent will heal him for friggin' 800 again. So far, this is going better than I thought it was going to go. Even with the... Well, I should have said something. But even with the heal... Wow, that missed. Even with uh, the healing of the enemy, he's going to heal him again. Uh, why didn't I try bio? I should have done this in the beginning. I've healed him for... 2,400. He must be poison resistant. Didn't hurt. Come on. Thank you. I need to wait till he lands the ether so I can do big guard. It's unbelievable how much I have healed the enemy in this out of my control because I did the limit break, not knowing that this move was going to heal 800 every time. This is nuts! I should just kill Vincent. Oh, finally. Holy cow. That could have been so much more easier if I didn't heal 3200 HP on the guy throughout the fight. Lesson learned. Don't use Vincent's level 1 limit break on the Materia Keeper. Gem ring. That's good. That uh, prevents a bunch. Okay, counter. Thank God. Alright. Um, so what counter Materia, Materia does is that when you get hit, sometimes you'll hit back and it won't count as your turn. What's the gem ring do? Paralyze, petrify, slow and numb. Okay. Um. So let's get the counter materia. He's got nothing. I'd rather it be on cloud though. So let's see what it can switch. Yeah, no, because that's... Oh, let's get the throw. Alright, so even though I healed the guy for 3,200 damage, that went pretty well. Goddamn moves.
me let me heal up here. Uh, 